Number 11, Dyrese Patton. Dyrese is escorted by his mom, Heather Eklund, and his dad, Jermaine Patton. Dyrese plans on to go into the Air Force Academy to double major in aeronautical engineering and systems engineering. Number 12 is Brayden Myers. Brayden is accompanied by his parents, Greg and Kim Myers. Brayden plans on studying mechanical engineering in college. His favorite football memory is defeating Dunker last year. Number 13 is Parker Rivera. Parker is escorted by his man, mom, Jacqueline Rivera. Parker is also the son of the late Victor Rivera. Parker has completed a welding program and will enter either the Air Force or attend an electrician school after graduation. Number 20 is Tyler Garagol. Tyler is accompanied by his parents, John and Jamie Garagol. Tyler will be attending college for business and marketing. His favorite football memory is running hills freshman year when someone forgot to flush. <laughs> number 23 is Joel Cologne, and number 28 is Nico Pucci. They are escorted by Michael and Christine Pucci. Joel plans on attending college to study criminal justice or psychology. His favorite memory is his first varsity touchdown as a sophomore. Nico Pucci plans on pursuing a career in finance. His favorite memory is defeating an undefeated Dunkirk team in Dunkirk last year. Number 25 is Raziel Pearl. He is being escorted by Kevin Pearl and Amanda Reedy. Number 26 is Donovan Apthorpe. He is accompanied by his parents, James and Doreen Apthorpe. Donovan will be attending Alfred State College for welding and metal fabrication. His favorite football memory is scoring a 35 yard touchdown in modified football in his first game back after a concussion. Number 52 is Keith Piper. Keith is being escorted by his parents, Amy Piper and Bill Piper. Keith is planning on opening his own barber shop. His favorite football memory is defeating a tough dunker team last year. Number 56 is Nathan Schwert. Nathan is escorted by his mom, Denise Schwert, and his father, Mike Gates. They will be going to college for business or psychology. Number 66 is Devin Wiedenhofer. Devin is being escorted by his mom, Crystal Wiedenhofer, and his father, John Wiedenhofer. Devin plans on attending college to major in sports management. Number 67 is Ian Wright. Ian is being accompanied by his parents, Tim and Yvonne Wright. His favorite football memory is defeating an undefeated team last year. Number 74 is Tanner Haas. Tanner All right, here we are with Coach Sherlock. Coach, huge game, huh? How can you heat more onto it? I, I don't know. My mind's kind of scrambled right now, and uh, just trying to focus the best I can. Great night. You've got a home, great home crowd, senior night, the whole bit, but now you got to focus, right? Absolutely. Senior night kind of puts it like, like you know, knowledge. but uh, they deserve it. A lot of seniors. Alexis knowledge. White. Anything special today? Uh, what is special? Uh, well, I mean, just the same. Yeah, I know. you. I know. That's what I'm saying. Alexis I love Smash Mouth football, and... We'll see where it ends up in the end. I'll tell you, we're very impressed with the field. I was a little nervous about that, but it looks in great shape. Joanna Myers. I think they took great care of it. We've stayed off it as a team the best we could, and we've kept a lot of people off of it, and that's that's reason for it. And Casey I, Decker. The best it can be at this time of year, and I, I'm happy that we're back.
feels awesome. Uh, good luck, I guess. I'll let you go do your job. Thank you very much. All right. And Madsen Hicks. Ladies and gentlemen, our Peronia football and cheerleading senior class. Join us and wish you them good luck in all their future endeavors. games in, in memory. Uh, we're introducing the starting lineups right now as we look out, but uh, it's Greg Krause here joined by Shannon Davis. Shannon, what are your thoughts? Well, we've been talking about this game since week one, Greg. I mean, honestly, anticipation. Uh, both Dunkirk and Fredonia had a little bit of stumbling grounds, but they were able to win um, in both games, in tough games, and now here we are, two undefeated teams. Two teams with dominant running backs, great defenses, and a lot of star players on both sides. You can't get you you can't get it much more even, can you? I mean, when you look at the uh, obviously the records is where it starts. I looked at things like points for and points against, very close. The point differential for the season right now, Dunkirk is at 100 and plus 133. Fredonia is at a plus 124. So that's close. Uh, you know, points for and points against, same kind of an idea. It's not like one team is just no. overwhelming. Uh, we've got Joel Colon with 992 yards, Cleckley with 1,031, so they're separated by about 40 yards. Um, so the 126th meeting of Dunkirk and Fredonia should be an exciting one, and we had fun. I was here, you know, what I still talk about is, is arguably the greatest high school game we've ever seen was the uh, was the four overtime game. I mean, that game was tied at the quarter. It was tied at the half. It was tied at the quarter. It was tied, obviously, at the end. It went to overtime. Four. It was so exciting to watch and, and, and be a part of. We may be setting ourselves up for something like that tonight. Absolutely. I mean, both teams, we've watched both teams play throughout the year, putting on dominant performances. Uh, some of the keys to me tonight and we've seen both teams almost get in their own way once in a while, almost beat themselves. And they were both able to overcome against inferior opponents. Tonight, if you make those mistakes, it's going to cost you, and it's going to cost you big. And, and that, to me, is one of the big keys of the game. They both have power running games, but they have to avoid the big penalties and avoid, avoid the unnecessary fumbles and mistakes that we've seen at times out of both teams. You're absolutely right. I, I think it's easy for us to say, hey, turnovers and penalties are going to be the difference. But in a game this close with teams that are this closely matched, that's the kind of thing we're going to see. I think from a football aspect, if there are two things that I look at for each team, I look at um, from the from the Dunkirk side, I think it's going to be their success throwing the ball. If if they can throw the ball, if Messina can get you know can get off early and the and the receivers run the route, they catch the ball. If they can throw the ball, that's a dimension that 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 would that could give them an advantage. On the other side, I think um, the key to Fredonia, they really have got to tackle. We've seen Cleckley in particular, but all of their backs, the Dunkirk backs, tend to get a lot of yards after contact. And I think Fredonia's really got to be able to wrap people up early and hold on. Uh, you know, whatever whatever team does that better, I think is, you know, again, with the mistakes, is going to be on top. Absolutely. It, I agree with you. You you have Cologne and you have Cleckley. Both stud performances and both defenses are going to key on those players. And you mentioned Messina in the passing game. I think the Fredonia passing game is just as big. 
what, it's kind of a big play game, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. You know I mean? yeah. What team is going to make plays unexpectedly? Big passing play and a rundown. Vice for, they got to keep it a little bit more balanced. Because, you know, I was at the JV Fredonia Dunkirk game last night. Both teams had 10 man in the box, and both teams are trying to run off tackle and so on. It's going to start out this way here, but what team is going to go outside of the box a little bit and open up that passing game and keep the other opposing, the play, right. opposing defenses off balance? And that is going to be a huge key tonight, I think, by both sides. One thing we haven't talked about yet and I think needs to be spoken is that both teams are very well coached. Um, I, I kind of look at last year's, and, and by the way, I don't know if this is, you know, I've been trying to handicap the game all week, trying to figure it out, and it is so close. Absolutely. And you think that Fredonia may have a little bit of an advantage with the home field, but but you've got to factor in the, the revenge factor. I mean, yep. the Dunker kid's got to be really fired up. We're going to break the, for the anthem. Yep, hang on. talking about the coaches and I, I really think that Fredonia well obviously coach Sherlock has, has started and built his program as quickly as you possibly could but I think they're kind of their turnaround was that win last year against Dunkirk when they won that game all of a sudden every eighth grader and seventh grader said wow that's pretty cool I want to play some football and they got into it yeah absolutely and you know we came in the last night or last year you know Fredonia struggled. Dunkirk was the powerhouse. We did the game. It was awesome. And I, I, I'll never forget, and I get ripped on by some of the Fredonia coaches and people because I kept saying, now's the time Dunkirk's going to turn I, around and establish it. Now's with you. the time. Now's the time. And it never happened. You know, and you know, Fredonia pulled off that big upset. This year, like you brought up, the stats, everything, it's so even. Uh, people have asked me, who's going to win? Who's going to win? Fredonia coach, who do you think? Dunkirk coaches asked me, who do I? And I honestly don't know. I would not put money on either side right now. It's that even. It's the cliche. Who's going to make the least amount of mistakes? But it's true. Who's going to make a big play, as Greg brought up earlier at the end? What passing game is going to be more dominant? You know, I think both running backs are going to have their numbers. I think the defense is going to do their jobs. It's going to be an action-packed game. And I really hope it comes down to the last play of the game and we all get that that uh, excitement in the game that we have really been anticipating since week one. This Correct. is a game we've, we've been talking about for. it and, and both teams have delivered all season. Both teams have played great. Both teams have, you know, handily won games, won their couple of close games. And, and, and so here we go. Yeah. And you know what else is great? I'm looking out at the. The ticket booth here, there is a line yeah. up the street still to get in here, and we're already packed. I cannot wait. I hope these fans get in here quick. Uh, it's going to be an action-packed game. Here's the um, Dunkirk won the toss and deferred. They are going to be kicking, so uh, Cologne in the Fredoni offense is going to have the first crack to establish themselves here, and it's going to be an exciting, action-packed game, and I cannot wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. It's, it's like I said, it's been a, a, a I don't know, I, you know, I was talking to some folks, I'm a pretty old guy, and I was talking to some folks older than I am, and no one can remember a uh, a uh, Dunkirk-Fredonia game where they both came into the game undefeated this late in the season. 
because remember, it used to not be it used to not be the last game of the season. It would fell where it's fell. It, it, yeah. But uh, yeah. And With, Western New York in general is kind of. I was listening to the radio today. It's rivalry weekend across yes. Western New York is rivalry games. And how awesome is that? Last game of the year, and we're just lucky enough. Not only is it Dunkirk Fredonia, it's also B3 Championship home playoff game on the line. You can't yeah, have a got, bigger high school with, game at this point in the regular season. With you start with bragging rights. Absolutely. Then you go to undefeated season. Then you go to division championship. Then you go to home, home game in the playoffs. Right. I mean, you just keep heaping it on. So this game is going to determine where we are next weekend, too, because Correct. we'll be at the home game, I'm sure. So Correct. I, again, I can't wait. I, I don't can't remember a time that I didn't have a direct interest, a son or someone play a game I've been more excited for right. in a long time. And it's here right now, Orange Bowl. Here we go. We're getting to the opening kickoff. We now got, we got Stewart kicking off a tee today. A little different. Oh yeah, a it's different. no squib kick. And last uh, last time he kicked off this tee, he uh, he did the, uh, the the onside, the squibber, and they got it. Ran, Milliman ran it in for a touchdown. They did a couple of those. Was that so last week? That was last. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't see. All right. They, the first time they teed it up, and I said, "What's he doing on the tee?" And sure enough, they did the onside. So did let's he have see what... the pink socks on? Yeah. No, he didn't. No. All right. It's going nice deep kick. this time, yo. Back deep at the 10 yard line. It's received a little bit of room here. It's got some space. Uh, 20, 21 yard return by Ferdoni up to the 31 yard line. That's the sophomore number 21, Dom Gullo, on the return. 21 yard return. And here we go, Greg. This is the game we have been waiting for. So we're going to sit the ball right on the 30. Yep. First and 10. I expected, you know, I wouldn't expect anything cued out of either team in the beginning. I know we've seen that from, you know, in the past where they'll come out and try to just shake it up a little bit. I think they're coming smashing at them. Absolutely. You know, and here's your power eye formation. Too tight, a quick snap to Cologne. Who else? Uh, gain of three, four yards on first down. That's a nice push by the offensive line, and that's going to be key. What line is going to dominate oh, the other? And, and that's what happened last year. The Fredonia line. Yes. dominated the game, which we did not expect last year. And they got a nice four-yard push here on first down. It'll be second down to six, ball at the 34-yard line. And it's a little crisp tonight too, Greg. It, Holy cow. You know, much nicer than I expected, though. <laughs> I came, I kind of geared up a little bit. I thought it was going to be a little colder, a little damper. But really, when you're here, it's not, It's a pretty good night for football. Power eye Cologne once again. again, off the right to Cologne. Not as much there, maybe two yards, depending on the spot. Bring up a third down early in the first quarter. It's going to be about third and a long four. Right, uh, depending on the spot. Yep, third and a long four. Ball at about the 30 and a half yard line, 36 yard line. Ball in hillbilly territory. So far, hey, biggest down of the game. <laughs> there you go. There you go, right off the bat. Yeah. I did. I do. I'll tell you, the field is not bad. I was no. very worried that the field was going to be sloppy, but I walked around and walked all over, and you know, it's a little bit bare. It's certainly not astroturf, but it's pretty fast and in good shape. Kudos to the Fredonia grounds crew. Absolutely, the lines look great. Ooh, kick. he's going to get the first. Oh, uh, it's close. That's a quick I, handoff if he gets a to right Skinner. Foot mark, yeah, let's see. I think he's got it. Yep. He looks like they're the line judge on our side is putting it at the forty. Yep. And that will be that's, a first down. Yep. So that's Jacob Skinner's first carry of the game for about four yards, maybe five, and a Fredonia first down. So handing it off to someone besides Cologne is like a counter, right? It, it kind of <laughs> is, and that's that quick hitter. You know, and the JV team had some success running that exact play to Joe Gullo last night and a couple big yards to the fullback also. So here we go. First first down of the game, 10-08 and running in the first quarter. Power eye formation. Cologne the deep back, led by Jake Skinner, gets a little push and gain of, we're going to say, three to four yeah. yards. Yep. Based on the spot, it looks like four yards, and that was another nice push by the offensive line there of Fredonia. So now that's got, let's see, Cologne just got four, six, ten yards in his first three carries, and that puts him over the 1,000-yard mark for the season. Yeah, and, that, and that's a great accomplishment by any high school runs this game eight. And, you know, so right. 1,000 right. yards by game eight. You know, Cleckley had 1,000 yards in game seven. Uh, two outstanding backs, and, and we're missing a couple. You have Pucci and, and Wright from the two sides. Correct. Both out for the season. Oh, 
pre-snap penalty. Yep. It's going to obviously, I would think, against Fredonia, but we don't know for sure. Now that's, see, now, and those are the little things. When you are yeah. a team that goes 4-2-4, four, 4-3-4, four, 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 you know, yeah. and you're grinding it right. out, a five-yard penalty makes a huge difference. Yeah. So we're moving back. Now we're going to be second 11. So it's like they lost a yard on first down instead of gained four. And that's a huge difference throughout this game. And if Fredonia has to do this too many times or Dunkirk has to do that too many times, it will catch up with them against a quality opponent. So, yep, second and 11 yep. at the 39, yep. Two tight end set, power eye, Schwartz under center. Uh, this time a little counter play to Cologne. Not a lot there, uh, gained of probably around three to three yards here. So it's going to be third and long for the Hillbillies. So And once again, I know if it's not for the five yards, yeah. we're now looking at a third and one, a third and two. two absolutely. Know? So a little, you got some substitutions. We're going to have a spread formation here. Quick to the line of scrimmage. It was a quick huddle. Not even going in huddle. It's almost like a hurry up in slow mo form. Well, so, by getting on the field that fast, it did stop Dunkirk from subbing or catch them off guard. Possibly. Yep, we got a shotgun. Yep, little bunch formations. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, yeah, that play. Bumbled snap, slipped in the mud, no grass midfield. Schwartz is going to be stopped for a loss, and on comes the punt team for. Fredonia. So that was a uh, that was supposed to be a handoff to uh, Levins, to Karim I'm Levins, yeah. yeah, and and you could see even tried to grab it and yeah. probably a smart play. God forbid, there's a turnover right now. They're going to punt yeah. it away. They're going to play defense. You yeah. turn it over right there and you give Dunkirk the short field. Absolutely, Schwartz didn't have a chance to hand it off. He tried to run with it but slipped. Schwartz is on the punt. Back is Rodney Rocky Radcliffe in number 22. Nice High punt. punt to the left. You got Green and. And who else is down there? Ooh. All right, that's going to be down. Yep, right about the 25. So great job by Dunkirk defense. Good punt, pinning Dunkirk's offense back. So we saw Fredonia's first shot, first swing came up short. How is Dunkirk's first chance going to go? Did get a first down. Got you yeah. know they're coming over to the sideline, feeling good. You can clearly point to the offside as the yeah. you know okay that the slows us down a little bit. Right. But. Uh, you know, got to be happy with the punt as well, I guess. That's a 33-yard net, no return, right. puts him at the 25. Yep, and, you know, and if, if Fredonia's defense has to play today, we know that just like Dunkirk's defense has to, to perform tonight too. You know, and Fredonia didn't come out with any surprises. Here's Dunkirk, two tight end set, power eye as well. Um, let's see if they go to, you know, Messina's talking to his lineman here. So is there a little change in the play, or is that... Nope, and they go right to their star running back, Cleckley, but there was a... Knew they were coming, yeah. Absolutely. There was four or five Fredonia Hillbilly defenders waiting for him. Loss on the play, it looks like. If not... A no gain, maybe? Yeah, maybe no gain to pay up. Looks like no gain on the spot, but you had Skinner and a crew of Hillbillies waiting for Cleckley that time. That is one thing, I'll tell you, both teams, if I'm coaching Dunkirk, I'm saying watch 23. Oh. And if I'm coaching Fredonia, I'm saying watch three. Absolutely. So it's going to be somebody else that has to make that yeah. big play, perhaps. And absolutely, and I've been saying that all week. Who else is going to step up? Radcliffe, uh, Skinner, you could go down, Thomas, you have Levins. There's there's athletes on both sides of the ball. And there's Cleckley again, and this time nothing Not much there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I didn't get the number. I want to say it might have been Piper there first. 52, yeah, I think that's Piper. Somebody's down. That's not good. Oh, yeah, there's an Neither. injury. He's holding his belly. You don't see that a lot. He might take a shoulder pad or a cleat or got kicked there or something. Probably means he'll be back, though. Yeah, that's the good news. Yeah, absolutely. But he's coming off slow here. That's big number 68 of Ferroni is Nick Poocher. Two-way starter, tackle, defensive tackle, Fredonia. So that could be a big loss. We'll see what happens. Hopefully he's okay. So here we'll see, uh, you know, this eight. is where that, maybe that, you know, that play action pass that Dunkirk likes to run. Um, yeah, and, you know another key here, and we talk, Fredonia, or Dunkirk all year has been play action roll one way or the other. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to see Twins him do some left. just yep, pure drop back passing. You got Moreland, Cleck. And it is play action. Messina. Oh, oh he dropped just it hot. right. 
Yeah, Boy, that was, he hit Leaper he was right open. in the hands. Yep, was that 20? Yeah, that's Cody yep. Leaper. You know, they got Leaper and Thomas as great receivers for Fredonian. And the sophomore put some zip on that ball. It might have been a little high, but that's very catchable. But he had a, that was right a at the first down arm. marker oh, as well. Absolutely. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. Again, they didn't throw until they had to. But that's a big stand by Fredonia's defense. So now their punter is on. And the punt return team of Fredonia is on right around the 47 yard line. As Gullo and Levins. DC nice kick. punt over. Gullo oh, goes back, fumbles loose. the punt. Is able to come up with it. Oh, and he breaks room. loose. He's got a lot of room down the sideline. There was one block to beat, and if Nate Schuert could have held that block a little longer, yep. that would have been a touchdown. Uh, but great composure by the super soft Tom Gullo, be able to pick that ball up and get the ball into Dunkirk territory. And that's gotta be, let's see, 30, we're gonna call it a 34 yard return. Absolutely, and the Fredonia special teams did a great job setting up that wall. When you see that happening in the pros, balls on the ground, people yep. break down a little yep. bit. And uh, and that's exactly what happened there. And I'm looking out at the crowd, Greg. It looks like the people are still waiting to get in, but the sidelines are lined, the bleachers are full, the end zone, oh, uh -oh. an early flag. Too many on the field, it looks like. Oh, yes, One, two, against three, Dunkirk. Four, so that's, you know, you see 42 yep. running off yep, the sideline there. Yep. So a big penalty against. And I, you know, I wonder if that had anything to do with they had two receivers on that set. And I don't know, I wasn't watching. I was looking at the crowd, but did that cause a substitution attempt by Dunkirk and catch them? And, and that could be an interesting fact. You see in college all the time, trying to catch teams with yep. different offenses, even you know the Packers and the Patriots are great at that too. So you got two receivers so now we're on this the 32. time. I formation right back to Clone. Nice hole off the left side. Push forward. Big first yeah. Down. And with the penalty, that's going to lead to a Fredonia first down. And that was an outstanding job by the left side of the line, opening up that hole for Cologne. So we're going to go 22. We're going to call that uh, what a. I lost track with the penalty and everything. It's Probably seven or eight yard gain, ten yard gain. We're getting I'll the get signal it. to ten but yard. Yep, it is a ten yard. All right, gain. Just looking, it went to the thirty-two. All right, we 22. got two. Yep, pro formation. I set Skinner Cologne in the backfield. Motion by Big Nate Short to the right. Sweep to the right. That's not a bad cop. Oh, oh great, great job by, by Rocky Radcliffe, yeah. number five. Our man Rocky. We've been talking about him all year. Yeah, that was, I mean, they set that up perfectly. They yeah. had short, and, and if, if Radcliffe doesn't come from the backside and make Absolutely. that play. Yes, that's a big play. I mean, you had two of the best football players on Fredonia's roster. Lead blocking there was Schuer and Skinner, and Rocky Radcliffe knifed inside. And, and the Fredonia coaching staff um, really showed Rocky in, during the week a lot of respect. He said he's a great change of place player. They, they're a little nervous about what he could bring to this game. You know, got Cleckley and all that, but Radcliffe could be one of those difference makers we were talking about in this game. Quick snap to Cologne once again. Oh, oh balls, and balls on there the it field. Is. That's, yep, that's a fumble. And they are called fumble, and it's Dunkirk ball. Oh, that clearly came oh, out. Oh, that is. He was not down. No, he was not. He was on his way down, but I think you're right, Greg, and we'll see it here in our replay screen that you guys won't see, but we'll look at it. But I think you're right. I think he was about a foot off the ground when that ball came loose, fighting for extra yardage, and it, and it cost him. Big mistake by the Hillbillies there. And here I'm... Oh, that is close. It is Holy close. It's cow. closer than I thought. It is. His... That is borderline. He was lunging forward, but if we had replay, that would go to the booth. I'm not going to lie, but it doesn't matter. Marauder right. first down. Power eye for sneak. Another famous Dunkirk play here. Cut a couple. Yep. It did not fool the Hillbillies, but they still got a couple yards. It'll be second down and eight. You see that carries for two yards. The ball will be right at the 20 now. So if Hillbilly defense really needs to hold them here and get to keep that field position advantage and if you're Dunkirk you, you just wanna, need a couple first downs. absolutely right. and then go from there but get this first first down here and flip the field at least because they, they dodged a bullet with that fumble 
boy, Fredonia, we're, they are creeping up. They are, there oh, is no respect for the passing Nobody game. more than seven yards deep. Oh, Cleckley uh -oh. Scott Rowe. gone. And there's the problem with no depth. Yep. Oh, he's oh, got no, the he's angle, got... though. 30, 20, oh, no, he's down to the 10. Yeah, I thought he wow, had it. No. That's a great effort. To save a touchdown, we'll that? see how that plays out. 11, I think, or is it? Or no, uh, that's a uh, bat baton. Two. Let's see. Yeah, that's Mel Russo, I think, number two, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Number, I. It looked I like it was look. the safety. 11, no. Oh, no, 11s is coming. Okay, 11, 11s, okay. Right, Dyrus. Uh, number 11 yeah. is uh, Dyrus Baton, and he got a little shaken up on the play. He's got to be winded. Holy well, crow. But and anyway, Cleckley huge didn't go play. out of bounds. And, and that's the problem when you crowd the line of scrimmage. You break through that yep. initial. Another sneak here. Oh. So wait, the, now the chains didn't make it down yet. Oh, I, I was yeah, just looking seriously. to see if they had a chance for a first down. It does look like they're on, what, the 14? No, yeah, they're, this is not first and goal. But, the, yeah, the markers. We had to get the yeah, chains in the and game. And they still had second down on the box. I'm surprised the officials let that play go off. They, that is the official now, responsibility. This, uh, okay, so that's about a three-yard, four-yard yeah. gain? Yeah, I'd say second down and seven, three-yard gain. And what a what a chain, a turn of events with that big run by Cleckley. And once he got through the line of scrimmage, there's no win there because Correct. they are Correct, they were bunt. so crowded to the yep. box. You know, it's like goal line formation. So Dunkirk in the red zone. Counter play to Milliman. the up back. And a nice oh. little counter. Yeah, and there's a looks like there's an injured player here, slow to get up on Fredonia once again. On the back side there, it's slowly getting back. No, he's coming off. Let's see if I can get a number. So Milliman got a, gained about seven on that play. Or I mean, I gained about four, so it's third and three. Third and three, third and four, and uh, that once again that was Poocher coming off a little banged up two-way starter, and two down territory to gain four yards. So we're on the yeah. eight. You gotta imagine. Yes. Cleckley or maybe a Moreland, but I'm thinking Cleckley here, off tackle, Moreland, yep. and and that's exactly is. what it is behind Moreland and nice push by the Fredonia defense there, but the play's not over. I mean that's. You know, both these teams and these they backs, we cred. Going. Oh, my God. Their feet never stop on both sides. See, you can't give up on a play too early. We're going to get caught if I do that. Gain of two, fourth down. Huge down. I mean, and we're going to say this a lot, but this is by far the biggest down of the season. There you go. I, I mean, undefeated, 129, clock running, fourth and two. Dunkirk has, hadn't done anything on offense yet. Rattle off an 80-plus yard run. And now they oh timeout and that's a good timeout. Timeout, timeout Dunkirk. First half timeouts don't don't save them. Use yeah. them as Greg has said so many times. Fourth and two it doesn't get bigger than that. That's a good call by um, Coach Sartori. Coach Sartori. Yeah, they're Coach gonna Sartori, you know yeah. now now what do you do? Do you just pound away? I mean they haven't except yeah. for the big play. Dunkirk's defensive line and and in support has been up to the task. Do you yeah. do you? Did a little cute and call the the rollout. Um, you know, Dunkirk's had success down in, in the in the in the zone with uh, with uh, Conrad uh, Thomas, Conrad Thomas yep. and that's and true. Good chemistry with it, Messina. It's a, it is a lot of pressure on the young quarterback if you do a pass play. But if least has a run option, I could see that working because you know the Fredoni defense is gonna. I mean, they're going to be keying at Cleckley. Skinner is going to be flying wherever Cleckley goes. We know that. Right. And his ten teammates behind him. Um, yeah, this is this is a big call by Sartori, and this could be one of those plays where we say, "Is someone else step up?" Let's we'll see. Right. Here we go. Power eye formation. Uh, that's Leaper at the right tight end spot. Cleckley deep. It's a quarterback keeper, and oh, I don't know. I mean, he was stopped. Let's see he where got the spot a second is. effort. Let's see where the spot is. Of Both course, teams are pointing in the direction. Yeah, officials are calling for a timeout. Leaper wants it. The Fredonia like Hillville. The yeah. yeah, it's nobody likes the spot either yeah. way. Oh man, and that's an interesting call. I mean, to me, I put it in my you know that many yards. If it's one yard, I get it. But two, three, two and a half as that was, I'm putting Cleckley's hand personally. And you know you trust your offensive line to get a push. Yeah, and I don't think they have it, Mason. And it is. Nope. They are short. So that is a huge, wow. huge hillbilly defensive stand after giving up that big play. But now, but now, 
I mean, we have 114 in the first quarter. Veroni's offense is what? Getting the ball at their own four. So this is a huge, no turnovers. You gotta get some first downs here to get, again, flip that field possession back. You cannot give the ball right back to Dunkirk and, and punt out of your own end zone here, and you definitely don't want to turn it over. But I'll tell you, I'm looking back now, and all of a sudden, Dyrese Batten, that was oh, a huge, huge play. play running him Absolutely. down. That was a 66-yard run, and it could have been in the end zone, and yeah. instead, you know, uh, his hustle got him. Yeah. I thought he was gone. I, have he, we seen anybody catch no, Buckley yet this year? No, absolutely not. And, and if you look at Penn and, and Batten there and, and you young players, it was all about the angle he took. He took the proper angle. Okay, right up the middle here. There's a great push yes, by the front Yes, it was. Line. Okay, a little push and shove in there late. A little bump there. This is a Fredonia <laughs> dunker yeah. game, no doubt about it. That's a big play. Great job by the Fredoni offensive line on first down on their own four to get seven yards up the middle. Gives them a little breathing room, but they need some first downs here without a doubt. So we've got, uh, you know, I'll tell you, one of, the, one of the things about this game, and I anticipated this as I was walking over, we were talking about it, and I said, it's going to be a fast game. Because both teams oh, keep it on the ground, the yep. and it just Quick goes. Quick snap, that's Cologne, and nothing nope. there that time. No surprises. And so we're gonna, we probably are going to get to the quarter with this, which gives me my chance to do my, my, uh, my wine of the game, which I do every game, and that is, and, and this is directed at both teams. I still can't believe both teams run their quarterback on a 35-yard jog <laughs> or sprint over to the bench, tell them to play, and then 35 yeah. yards back. I mean, there's got to be a system a better way. I mean, it's, use it's, hand yeah. signals, use right. something. Uh, yeah. Hell, yell to them. Because right. I'll tell you, in the fourth quarter, that's going to take a toll on both those quarterbacks. And, and, and especially Trey Schwartz. Because he plays both, both ways. ways, yes. You know, you got young, lean, great shape Phil Messina <laughs> who gets the rest on defense. Um, but Trey's playing defensive end on yep. defense. And, and Trey's not quite as lean <laughs> as no, Bill I gotcha. either. He's I a gotcha. big boy for a quarterback. But yeah, this, I mean, another big, big down early on. You got third and two deep in your own territory. You're, you're Dunkirk, you're, you're, you're foaming at the mouth to get the stop, and Fredonia has to convert it. So 0-0 zero, zero after the first quarter. Sorry about that. We got to keep do a better job. Oh, that's right. We don't have, yeah. We don't have the uh, overlay from here. Yeah, so it is 0-0 zero, zero at the end of the first quarter. Uh, I understand we're having some technical difficulties on the TV side. We are working at doing our best to keep that up. Uh, text Greg or I, let us know if it does freeze. We'll do everything we can to keep it I'll tell you, I struggle to work the off. phone, but I will, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah, okay, they're letting us, thanks for letting us know. Uh, we apologize for that. Uh, we are doing our best here. What Ch was the word we got from Chip? It's fr little, it was frozen, frozen up. Yeah, the TV's frozen up here. Um, Technology is yeah, a exactly. wonderful thing until it doesn't work. Once again, you can watch it on uh, YouTube, Fredonia Access 5. It should be on Dunker. Oh, no, that's a huge penalty, and there's another mistake by this Fredonia offense. And I, I'm guessing it's on. No. It is. Yes, oh, yes, it is. Okay. For a second there, yeah, I thought they were going to go the other that. way. Yep. And that's two huge penalties and a fumble that, that Ferroni has committed here, and it's cost them big time. They are driving to score. They the yep. first they got first down in their first session, penalty and first down, driving their second possession, fumble, third and two on their third possession, deep in their own ter territory, and they jump off sides, false start, and now it's third and long deep in their own territory. So what do you do here if you're Coach Sherlock? Whew. Are you gonna hand it off again in your pro formation or your power eye, two tight end set? What are you gonna do? We do have two two receivers, eye formation. You got a senior quarterback that has made some big plays and some big mistakes this year. So another, you know, you had a huge call by Coach Sartori, now you have a huge call by Coach Sherlock Little chess game going on. Wow. 
Okay, had to reset the clock there since it was not a snap. Back to 12 minutes. First, second quarter. First play, third and six. And it is a pass play. He's wide he open. guy wide, wide open, open. Running down the sidelines. Cuts back oh, in. Oh, he's got room to go. Big Skinner. He he's has got one he's guy got one to, to beat. beat. And he is. Oh, he no. had to get him. And that is Jake Skinner from Trey Schwartz. A huge and a play. Fernonia touchdown. That's about a 91-yard touchdown pass. Catch and I run. got 94. They were on 90, the six, right? Okay, 96. Yep. Okay. The well, let's six, see. Uh, yeah, right around there. That's over a 90-yard completion. He was wide open. We yes, talked about was. the big play. They came out. I mean, Dunkirk had to be thinking there was a possibility of a yeah. pass. He throws it. He finds him wide yes. open. And Skinner, just like we watched in that uh, Casadega game, makes a yes. huge play. A run beat, you know, made a great end at the end. Uh, Could have get knocked out of bounds and made the play. Absolutely. You and would've... Fredonia is on the board. Wow. And that, I'll tell you what, Jacob Skinner is a phenomenal football player. Great, known more for his defense, but that's another huge play he's made on offense. On the attempt, the extra point here, they are kicking. Schwartz is holding. That is the Poocher kicking, right? Snap is down, kick is up, and it is good. And Plenty of leg, make, yep. Yeah, that'll make the score with 11.44 in the second quarter. 7-0 for Donia. And that's a second big play of the game. And this time it turned into a touchdown. We had Cleckley the big run. Fronia's defense bend but didn't break. And now Fronia's offense comes up with the big play. Boy, oh boy. So, yeah, I mean, you've got the, so the, so I guess the, the as you look at the big difference, Dunkirk has their big play, but Fredonia gets a kid to make a play to stop it from being an 80 yard touchdown. Instead, they then stall on the other side. Fredonia makes the big play, and uh, and and Dunker can't quite get the 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 play to 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 stop him down the stretch, and he's in for the score. And the effort was there. I can't remember if that was 22 or 23. It's Dunkers. Stewart. I think it was Stewart. It was yeah, 23. And he made a nice uh, attempt. Okay, that's Skinner Oderbrowski, just ran yeah. strong. Oh, Odebrowski. Yeah, yeah. Yep. 23 is Odebrowski for. Um, yep. Dunk and he was there. I mean, and Skinner's just put a, load. a good hit on him. He, he is did. a load. Same foot, same shoulder. I mean, you work on that in youth football, and and he remembered it and took it to advantage there. And Odebrowski could not make the tackle. So, boy, you talk about flipping the field. Yeah, there it is. But we're only 11:44 into the second quarter. <laughs> so it's Dunkirk's uh, what second possession here? Third possession. Um, Schwartz is going to be kicking it off, and we know the Dunkirk offense can strike and score any point. Good long kick. Oh, fumble drop right around the 10 yard line, 11 yard line. And he is going to be brought down at about the 24 yard line. So good coverage there by the Fredonia special teams. That is Odebrowski, number 23. On the return. So that was about a 13, 14 yard return after a good high kick. Um, and that's a tough catch over your head like that on a kickoff to come up cleanly. So, nice you know, job. both teams haven't had good kick. And now they, no. we've got great all of a sudden. Yeah. 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 All year we've been doing the squib and line drive yeah. and so on. So we got the ball on the 24, right? 24, first yep. and 10. Dunkirk's got us. Let's see how they recover. Yep. And we got Leaper out wide right here. One-on-one uh, -on -one coverage. There's no safety over the top. Power eye formation. Oh, he slipped, slipped on the start. He yep. did. That's not turf out there. That is for sure. Did not get out of the starting gate, and no. that's certainly yeah against this. You know the way yeah. Fredonia's coming at him. If you don't get ahead of steam, you're not getting anywhere. Right. In, in this mud, it's it's different footwork than on a turf. You really have to short, quick, choppy steps to, to not slip like that. And it's, you know, we had Stuart, uh, Schwartz, sorry, a quarterback, he slipped earlier in the mud and fell, and Cleckley almost did the same. No gain on the play. So there's two plays anyway. The mud has the, the turf. I, I guess I shouldn't say yeah, mud. Yeah, it's not quite mud. I mean, no. I think we're in pretty good shape, but uh, it is not it's, turf. It's You're a right. factor. Power eye, two tight end set this time, second and ten. Messina hands off to Cleckley, still fighting with nothing there, and he still is able to get two to three yards. I mean, that's a nice run. 
That should have been no gain on the play. Dunkirk is going to have to do something, though. Third yeah. and seven. I, you know, again, yeah. we're going to look at that play action pass. Yeah. And, and you know, and I, I know talking to Ferronia coaches, they have a ton of faith in their secondary. And they man on man coverage. They really think that their guys can cover these receivers. They have a lot of experience back there, some great athletes. So they're going to keep pressing and, and depend on this one on one coverage, I think, until they don't have to. Two tight end set, power eye. Did Skinner come off the field? You don't see that much on defense. I Pitch was wondering about Kleckler. that. Yep. And he's okay, he's short. That's a nice open field tackle there over on the right hand side. Russo, I believe. Was it? And, and that's a senior DB out there, tough kid. Yep, Gio Russo. Yep, nice Russo play. Or Green's out Giving there up too. about 100 pounds, oh, too. Absolutely. <laughs> With lead blockers. So it's going to be fourth and about three. But th at their own 30, you know, they're bringing on the punt team. Got to. And yeah, and that's Leaper. So that's a big stand. We got some substitution issues. Uh, Schwartz comes flying off here. Okay. Looks like they're set. You got Gullo in. Okay. Timeout, timeout. Fredonia. And, and, and it, Again, timeout. good call. Yeah, fine. If, if you don't have your right personnel on, let's take a minute. It's the yeah, first half. Exactly. God forbid you do something foolish when you got to not to protect your 7-0 lead. Yeah, right. And you don't want to give up a silly first down there or turn the ball over. Absolutely. So, so pretty much besides the two plays, yeah, pretty much is advertised. Smash yeah. mouth going at it. We've got you know the the, the big run and the and the catch and run uh, that have con you know and one got in the end zone and one didn't and that's been the difference. And, and I, I would even say the big play is advertised because that's been the this offense. Both teams have lived off the big play this year in their athletes and and even Frony has had. When needed, a few big plays on through the passing game, winning games against Casadega. That was the biggest play I can, you know, and that New was Fane, huge. early first game of the season, right. at the end of the half, they completed a big wheel route pass to Cologne. When they were losing that whole first half, and second half, they took the game over. So it's not crazy, it's just not what they do a lot of. But this is, this is what we expected, a tight game. Punch now, each I know they're in the mouth back and forth. Yep, I know it's early, but I look down at the bottom of my stat sheet and I got two penalties and a fumble on the Fredonia side, yet they're ahead seven yeah. to nothing. Yeah, and, and if if you told me that before the game, I would right. say Fredonia's at least down by one. Get another nice punt. Wow, very nice. Levins goes all the way. Ooh, oh, what a job scooping that up. That was risky. He's an infielder. I don't think yes, he knew it was coming. Uh, no. That could have been treacherous. And that's a great punt and special team coverage by. Uh, the Dunkirk special teams there. And great job by Levins. If he didn't catch that, that ball's down to the 10-yard line anyway, the way that was rolling, Yeah, or that bounce it took. 42-yard net punt, so another nice punt by yeah. Corey Leeper. Well, was that Baton even? I'm not sure. They Usually it's Levins, but the way Baton came off, it might have been him on that return. All right. So how, what's Fredoni going to do? I mean, Smash him in the yeah, face, exactly. right? Cologne. 35. Off tackle. <laughs> That's it. That's what they play. And there it is. Cologne off tackle. Nice hole. Nice cut. Nice gain on first down. Boy, he's, and, and you know, Dunker moved to the ball, but that was all arm tackling. Yep. Cologne's going to get you seven yards if you're arm tackling. Yep. And, you know, they got a little bit of room. And then he made one cut and gained seven yards. And as much as we kind of half-heartedly joke and pick on that play calling a little bit and uh, oh, oh, here we go. If it's effective, why not? If you get seven yards on first down, why would you change that? Pro formation, tight end to the right. Ooh, a little slip there and it, you know, good job by Dunker defense, Cologne slips. So that's the third time we've seen a slip early and costing an offense here. So now we have third and about two, gain of one on the play. Eight minutes remaining. The score is Fredonia seven, Dunkirk zero. When I say remaining, I mean in the first half. Greg, and I gotta tell you, I have a newfound respect for your stat keeping. Last week I was 
you know, thank you for Kevin Syracuse for joining me. He did a great job. But I'm trying to talk and keep stats oh, at the same time. Yeah. And it is tough it, up there. Absolutely. You know what I mean? But, well, and, the heart of, and then you're trying to add during the game and look up yeah. and down. and Yeah. Absolutely. So I pick on you a little bit, but it's not easy to do. Oh, QB sneak yep. for Fredonia this time. Caught him by and, surprise. And First quick down. Quick snap, nice push. And Schwartz is no small man at quarterback either. So that'll be a Fredonia first down. 7.30 mark in the first half. Clock is temporarily stopped until the chains are set. And there we go. The clock will start running now. Schwartz gets the call from Coach Balvino. And if you're the Marauders defense, you really got to come up with a stop right now. You want, you don't want to go down by two scores here. And certainly not. I mean, and with the time, with seven minutes left, a, a typical drive of Fredonia is going to be yeah. using most of that Absolutely. time up to get in the end zone. There we go. Off tackle the right side. Uh -oh. Another big hole. And Cologne's got one guy. He's and gone. he beats him. They're not going to get caught. No, he is not. That is going to be a 57-yard touchdown run for Joel Cologne. And again, great job by the offensive line. It really took one cut in Cologne's burst of speed. I got a 56. I know you yeah, said 57. I think it was, it was a 56. 50, you know, it was uh, yeah. multiple. Yeah. Absolutely. Anyway, huge run. So I guess they didn't need seven minutes no, to take it not. down the field. So that's the second big play out of this Fredoni offense, which second touchdown too. Poocher is on to kick. Schwartz is holding. <laughs> oh, he jumped off yeah, sides. I think that's a, can't no, they decline that? Yeah, that's the thing. They stopped the play. So, I know. You know I would have thought, I don't but understand. I, I he think, didn't make contact. In high school, I think once you break it, it's, yeah. Although I think that the tackle jumped a little bit. Let's see if we can see it. I think the uh, I think when the tackle jumped, well, actually, we can tell oh, YouTube looks it's frozen up a little bit yeah. right now. You, you mean, once the dump Now they're going to go crawl. for it. Yeah. Now they're going to go for it. Yard, I mean, half the distance. Now you got to get a yard and a half for two points. Um, absolutely. I don't blame the coaching staff at all for this. I think that's the right call. You know, why not? I mean, if you can't get a yard and a half with your line and your running backs of Skinner and Cologne. So it's their, it's that's Dunkirk's first penalty, but it could be a very, very yeah, big absolutely. penalty. So we got 6.59. Right now the score is 13 nothing. Fredonia's going for the two-point conversion here after the second touchdown. Schwartz nope. on the keeper, and unless he gets a second effort, he's not going to get it, and he wow, does. he does. He, and look at that, you can see, I don't know if you can Trey see in the Schwartz camera, the but Trey Schwartz heads up play, lifted the ball yep. up. Even though he was stopped, he reached it across the, the line. And you can see the Dunkirk defender's arm swatting at it. Well, Leeper ended up with the ball. Leeper ended up with the ball, but once he, it broke the yeah. plane, taking it away doesn't do him any good. So Dunkirk's line did a great job in stopping that play initially, but nice heads up play by Schwartz. So there we go. So we've got uh, 659, 15 yep. nothing, Fredonia. Boy, that that penalty could end up being a very, yep. you know, we okay. talked about it. That could be a very big penalty when it allowed them to get to that extra point. Yeah. Now, for Dun yeah, because we've seen Dunkirk is if there's one weakness, you know, one of the we haven't seen Dunkirk get many extra points. I mean, they don't seem to 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 click as well on that extra point as they do on the rest of their offensive game. But they go for two a lot, so you know that's that's not abnormal for them. But they they need to drive here. Dunkirk needs to settle, you know, get the momentum back, settle down this crowd. They're going crazy here. A little suit section sitting down tonight. I'm a little surprised. Oh, they're to my left, moved not them to over. my right. Man, moved them they over. switched after the broken bleachers. They there moved them go. over. Uh -oh. oh, short kick. Fumbled and picked it up out the 28-yard line. That's number seven. Milliman's Breaks got some attack. room. Nope. Oh. Ooh. Hit hard. No clothesline. Uh, that was yeah, that's Mark Milliman. I don't know how you keep red on those names Mark off for those guys. For that was a hard hit by the Fredonia special teams. But decent field position here. They're in the, about the 33-yard line, and they need a drive. Yeah, the, back to the – they moved the student section over from our right to the left after last week. I don't know if you 
Heard about I great. did. I don't even want to. Yeah, uh, yeah we might have had a bleacher <laughs> board break or two. My son's like, Dad, it happened right behind me. It was loud. But thank God no one was hurt. They got it fixed. We're still at the Orange Bowl. Ever in the community like, oh, my God, are they going to move I, the game yeah, again? Not a but chance. But we're here. We're here. We're, you know, the game should be played either in Dunkirk or in Fredonia. The place is packed. Fredonia's got or Dunker Scott. Oh, reverse There we go, flag. little trick. Yeah, nice he's got a nice seal Thomas. block. Yes, absolutely. Green Odebrowski. Did, yeah. Now Thomas had a great block there. Nice play. But give the cornerback here, Lucas Green. He did not make a tackle, but he stayed home, forced to play back in the middle, and he kept it for about a seven-yard gain. If Lucas Green does not stay home there, that's a touchdown. Um, so good job by the, you know, that's a unstat, yes, yes un, you know, no one sees that in the record. He doesn't get a tackle, he doesn't get any credit, but we're going to give him credit here. Nice job by the senior corner there. So we got a second and four. Yeah, yep. Uh, ball at the 39. Nine. Yep. To Cleckley off the left-hand side, and man, there is nothing there. You got... Pucci in there, and is this Pucci's first game this year? I didn't even realize he was playing. That's number 28. Pucci playing with a. I thought he didn't he play last week. You were I, there. I wasn't. Sure. I, so. Oh, that is true. I was here. I, maybe. I thought he was coming back for the league game last yeah, I, week. I knew they've been holding him out. He's got a partially torn ligament in his knee that happened in the off season. They thought he was going to be gone for the year. So um, Dunker calls their second timeout. You know, 534 remaining. Ferroni up 15 0 um, over Dunkirk. And yeah, you know, Pucci has been a leader of this team, a key contributor last year. Devastating offseason injury, and we thought that he might be out for football and basketball like his whole senior year. Um, so they've been smart with him and held him on. And um, they say he can't injure anymore. It's more of a tolerance of pain and what he can do. and um, right you, there, you couldn't tell. I'll it tell may you hurt. What. It may hurt yesterday, and it, it may hurt tomorrow. It will but hurt right tomorrow. now, right, <laughs> right now, he doesn't feel a thing. That, you know, yes, I mean, he that does. adrenaline is pumping. Absolutely, and you know, and you've, you've seen him around the team all year, being a senior leader, and you know, it's 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 hard as a senior. This is your last chance you may ever play football. So here we go. We got we got five thirty four, third and three. A huge play, obviously, yeah. for Dunkirk. But will they go for it at this spot in the field with yeah. this position, this score, the whole bit? Will they go for it at this point on fourth? Let's see what they do on third first. They set up in the yep. power eye. Yep, power eye, two tight end set. Messina under center, and they go to Cleckley the left side again. He's going to get it. And he's darn close. Good Looks push. like he's got a first down. Moreland's battling there. Cleckley's battling. Yep, yeah, he's he got is. It. Yeah, hey. yep, I would say definitely yes. And that's a great second effort there. And it is a Dunkirk Marauder first down. That's a nice hard run. You know, they went right back the same play that they didn't get much on last time in Faith on their line and Cleckley, and they got it. Big first down. 5-15, clock running, ball at the 43. Dunkirk has to execute on this drive here, turn this game back around. You know, they, it's five minutes left. They get the ball to start the second half. A score here would be huge on this drive. Boy, they got that... Power eye can't be more than a foot behind center. No, nope. and this time it's looking to throw. Oh, He's in trouble, and, and he throws it yeah, away. Yes, good job by Messina. And who's in on? Oh, oh they're the gonna flip. call it a grounding. They're looking oh, for a grounding. receiver out there. It is intentional grounding. Okay, first I thought. All right, that's a tough call. I mean, that was number. Uh, yeah, it really is, especially you know. when you're going down. That ball can go anywhere. Yeah, uh, but let's see who was on the pressure there. I want to say it's 56, but I don't see a 56 on the roster. Uh, but that was a great job from the left side of the line there. So that's, is it it's five yards from the spot? Is that right? Uh, you know, that's a good question. Because they're going it's back while well, they walked down. five. It's a loss of down. Yeah. He was on the 43. They're back to the 30. Okay. So there's not going to be any kind of a, yeah, it's got to be. And who, there is a, that is 56 on the pressure. On the roster I was given, there is not a 56 of Fredonia. 
How about uh, on this one? Well, that's what I was looking. I'm gonna look at it. Okay, that's Nate Short. He changed his numbers again. Oh, he does that with because it depends on what offensive position yes, he's playing, that's right? That's true. You're right. So he. Yeah, so he's now we got second. So the intentional All grounding right. cost him the down two, and it's a second and a mile. They got to yes. throw it on, don't they? Uh, his nope. reverse again. Good job by Short containing that force of cut off middle. I mean, it's a nice gain on the play too. Number 23. K and Odebrowski saw Schuert waiting for him, cut it off the middle, gained a five or six, and bring up third and long. They're still not throwing, showing the faith in, in, in Messina to throw it downfield yet, though. And we've seen that all year that they have. And we kept saying, that's in a fact, huge... In fact, sometimes they threw it early. When yes. I, you know, yep. That's a huge difference in Dunkirk's offense, and they just haven't showed it. Now, Twins everyone's left. expecting the throw. Yep. But I think they got to do it earlier on a rundown here a couple times. Uh, this play action, he's going to the short side of the field. Oh, he dropped it again. Yes, he did. Oh, my goodness. That, now, that wasn't a first down. No, but that's Conrad Thomas. And, I mean, and that would have been a gain of about 12, yep. 13 yards and give him a chance to go for it even on fourth down because I think he would have gone out of bounds after he caught it. And we haven't, Thomas has been great all year, too, you know, and, in the, in the Dunker coaching staff this week, talked about him and Leeper as being big receivers. That's too Boy, bad. Boy, that's two drops yeah. that both were, you know, very I mean, well thrown balls. Rockets, but well. You can't throw oh, it too hard. Low, no. Okay, good job by Levin stepping up. Can he get the corner here? No, no. He's still. Oh, oh they're going to call a face mask. Oh, did still, they not blow a whistle no, yet? No, he was still up. Big block, but he's going to be brought down. By number 53. I think they're going to call a face mask, but I don't know Owen which way Fred. it's going to go, to be honest with you, because I think that, that frankly, I think it's a no call, because I think yeah. both of them had each other's hands on their face. Now, and I don't completely understand this rule, but if you're a running back or... You're allowed you got, to do the face mask. You're, you're allowed to put your hands on it. You just can't grasp it. it, which isn't really fair if you're a defensive player that you can't do that to the offensive guy right. either way. Yep, but they're going is, to Fredonia, sure yeah. enough. It's going to be a spot foul, I, I believe. So, which will be up by about the 37 based on the flag. Meaning that that's going to be, the ball's going to cross midfield with this penalty. Face yep. mask, Dunkirk. Yep, and obviously be first down. Let's see where they're going to march it, mark it off from, though. Is it going to be from where he was tackled or where it I happened? I think it's a spot foul. I do, too. And I, yo, Okay, that is. Which makes it a 23-yard penalty. Oh, they only net. gave him a five-yard. Oh, yard, it's a five. Okay, five so it's version. not the uh, personal okay. foul. Yeah, that would have been huge, Greg, if that was a 15-yarder from there. So it'll be about Still not sure I'm in love with the call, but. 41-yard line. Yep, 341 in the half. Fredonia's up 15 nothing, and Dunkirk's defense has to have a stop, and they were ready for it. Clone on the carry, and guess who was there? It was Cleckley and Moreland, two star players from this Dunkirk offense and defense. We got one, maybe? Two? Yeah, I mean, that's a. Three? Uh, yeah, it's probably it's three. Three, yeah. Yeah. I didn't think he had that much until they spotted it. Second and six. It, they must have been a little bit of push on the offensive line because. Correct. It looked like on the live play, it was around the line of scrimmage he was tackled. Second down and seven. Scorebooks, is, or the clock's is six. Pro right formation. I, Schwartz under center. That's clone once again. Oh, he's going to lose? Yeah. Eh, line of scrimmage. Yeah. And number nine there, the Conrad Thomas was in there disrupting that play early. And then Cleckley and Moreland once again was waiting for him. No gain, third and... You know, now you know you're right around. Now the clock says seven. So again, I think it was no gain on the play. Third and seven. Clock running. Two thirty-four. Tick, tick, tick. First half. Fredoni up fifteen to nothing. And what are we gonna do here? I mean, last time it was a ninety-some yard touchdown pass in third and seven to Skinner. Same formation. Pro right. Skinner to the right. Cologne in the backfield. And it is going to be a pass play from the throw. lefty. He's got nice, and there's Skinner Skinner's wide open again. Once again, on a bootleg play, brought down by number three, Quantavius Cleckley. 15, uh, let's see, 21 yard pass. Yeah, he was at the 44 of the Hillbillies, and he made it to 35. the 36. 
36. Oh, 36, they're going to put it, okay. Yeah. That's another big play by the junior, Jacob Skinner, and nice job by senior quarterback Trey Schwartz. And he had to wait a long time. Skinner came all, all the way across the field. The receiver to the left was well covered downfield. I was about to say good coverage, and here comes Skinner out of nowhere. Back to that pro formation, back to Cologne. Um, and nice gain on first down, five yards. Second five, clock's running under two minutes now. Got to get the plays in in a hurry. You got receiver, looks like a spread formation maybe coming in. Somewhat of a hurry up, looking at the rest bands. Clock still running down the 140 and running, so there's a lot of time. Oh, and there is a penalty, too many. Too many men against Fredonia. I mean, they weren't in a huddle. That's a tough call, but it's a legal substitution, really. Not too many right, men. Right, Because they were going to the line, and they had 13 guys or 12 guys. Another mistake by the Hillbillies. They've gotten away with them so far. Dunker's got to take advantage. He's going to make a second down and 12 now. 135. Clock should... I would, oh, they're doing it on the snap. I thought they would start running it since it was offensive penalty. A bunch for me. Oh, oh, a huge high snap. It's loose. Oh, oh Fredonia. I think Fredonia's got a third down. Oh, don't push, boys. Play game. Here we go. We'll get a stupid penalty, and that's it. I mean. Boy, that was a huge, whole big yeah. opportunity. 12-yard loss. And really, it looked like there was three Dunkirk Marauders around it, and I didn't see who came up with it. It was not Schwartz, so someone else made a nice key big play for the Fredoni offense to get on that ball so they at least have a chance if they don't get a first down here in third and 24 to punt it instead of turning it over. Minute 17 remaining. Score Fredonia 15, Dunkirk 0, first half. The Battle of the Titans here. And Greg's pumped them away. I don't know how you read that stat sheet, Greg. That's a mess. <laughs> Circles, I got it. dashes, Well, lines. I'm trying to get down. I'm trying to see what and I got here. I know. Holy cow. If and you gave that I to take my else, shoes no off. one would have a clue. On what you, I think your glasses couldn't get any farther down your nose. No. You're, on, you're on fire right oh now. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> I wanted to check. We're at 94. Let's see. And eight. Yes, right now, Cologne's at 102 yards. Wow. That's what I was trying to get to uh, gotcha. real quick. So Cologne already over the 100-yard mark. That 56-yard touchdown run was obviously a big yeah, piece of that. absolutely. But a lot of other grind going on. Yeah, and a lot of it off to the right side. or Actually, they've gone both sides. I shouldn't say that. Um, it's a great job by the Fredoni offensive line. Well, this is big. What do you do? You don't want to turn it over. Um, are you just going to run it to keep run the clock, make them use a timeout? You're going to try to get, what do you, I mean, this is a big call early here. They're in a shotgun formation. Boy, I can't, yeah. Bunch right. Timeout for Timeout for Nonia. That'll be their second timeout. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, that's Frankly, true. Frankly, you know, I don't know. I'm, t I think I run the ball. I think I hand it off to Cologne I, and punt the thing down yeah, and yeah. go in up 15 to nothing well, instead of taking Dunkirk's a chance. Dunkirk's going to use a timeout, too. You, you throw right. an incomplete pass here, Dunkirk's going to save a timeout. Right. And with the clock stopping on first, first nope, downs you're and, absolutely the, and right. the athletes Dunkirk has, you're going to give them a chance to score here. So, yeah, I mean, the old school football book says to run it here and run, wind the clock and force the timeout and punt it away. Man, what a great sight, though. If you're not here, guys, you're missing it. I, you know, we'll try to get Chip to scan the crowd. Um, it's wrapped all the way around the field, up on the banks. I mean, people are everywhere. And there's two porta potties, by the way. That's not going to oh be good. Oh, my God. Because I kind of need to use one right now. And <laughs> I'm looking over there, this crowd in the line. I'm never going to make it, Greg. Hang it up. You know, you're going to have to go out the back in the woods. I'm going to run to the wee lock, I think. <laughs> All right, so here we go. 117 remaining. First half, 15 nothing. Trips right. Shotgun formation. Cologne. They still can hand it off to him here, which spread it out. No, nope. they. Okay, Ooh. a quick safe pass. Levins breaks one. He's got room. Oh my God. He's got one guy to beat. Cut and back inside him. in for the touchdown. Wow. That is a 50 yard touchdown pass to. 
Kareem Levens. What do we know? And, and honestly, you know? I heard you go, oom, oh, it was inches away to being deflected right. slash intercepted. Thomas had his hand up, and I thought oh. he was going to get it. It gets through, and next wow. thing you know, and he beat two guys downfield, yes, too. He, this wasn't just a scamper. No. He got down there and, and had to beat two guys, including oh. Cleckley. And that's the biggest play of, of young, senior Kareem Levin's career, and it's been a good career, don't get me wrong, but what a catch and run there. I mean, he must have even lost sight of that ball for half a second, the way Thomas yes. jumped in front of it. Um, wow, I, I can't emphasize it enough. That is not easy to catch that ball. As Nick Poocher on for the extra point attempt. Schwartz oh. drops the snap, but he still has it. He's looking for a receiver, but no. Oh, oh, it's dropped in the end zone. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, um, that was an elite. That was a lineman anyway. I'm sure there had to be yeah, linemen no, that, that was a lineman, yeah. I think. Oh, no wonder he didn't catch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that might have. Let's see. That is. Short, maybe? Yeah, that was short. Looks who does like play tight end. You know, depending on his number, he gets confused what he can and can't do. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and I kept noticing, like, geez, 42 shorts, like one of the few kids that didn't doesn't have his name on his jersey. That's because it's on the back of 56, yep. not 42. Um, but it wouldn't matter if he did catch it. So the score remained for only 21, Dunkirk 0, 105 remaining no in um, the first half. In so how about three for three for 162 yards? How's that for passing stats? That that's that's a pretty good high quarterback Holy. rating yeah, right I, there. I, I think he's got to be up in the 200s. What is it like 180 or 60? I don't know how you can get yeah. to get the max. Yeah, whatever it is, you know, geez, Louise. And in a lot of it's you know, yak yards after catch right there in. Uh, it's, uh, wow. And those were the plays we were talking about that would make the difference in this game. And and we got to give some credit to the receivers downfield, too, for Fredonia. It was like a special teams wall they set up there. So nice job, nice design. Great gutsy call by Coach gutsy Sherlock. Gutsy call, yeah. absolutely. I mean, if Thomas pick six is that. Yep, <laughs> it's we're, a whole other conversation. We're all over Coach Sherlock right, for that. Right. And now he's up 21 nothing on his home field looking to, to win the first division championship. Schwartz is on to kick it off. High kick. Going to be caught. Oh, he didn't catch it. It's dropped. Rolling oh, back at trouble. the route. Yeah, that was a big mistake. Get up, Phil. Yeah, field. Oh. wow. That's get nice up, field, job. Get that. Number, it was at 25, it looks like, of Fredonia with the tackle. Rocky Radcliffe on the return. Boy, oh boy. That was a big mistake. Maybe 26 out of an Apthorpe. Now, with a minute to go, oh, it's, it's... Pearl, it was 25. Not the, uh, not the most... I mean, again, only because of time and location. Yeah. Not the biggest mistake because uh, uh, a minute to go, unless he gets a huge return... I, it, whether you're on the, the, the 10 or the 30, you still got to make two or three big plays to get downfield. Yeah, but now, I mean, now you're scared to call certain plays when you're back at your own uh, 10 I mean, with what, a minute left. I, I think you've got to try to air it up and go. You're yeah, down 21 you're too, to nothing. But it's a lot easier to do that if you get the ball at the 30, 35 yard. I mean, he would they would have caught that at the 20, 25. Yep, yep. Like they should have, and four of them let it drop right around their feet. That's a, I get it. It's like, no, I got it. You got it. Yep. And I don't. I'm sorry. We didn't mention there is an, an injured uh, Fredonia player on the field. Uh, that's causing this delay. But and, and that's that in between. Who's got it? Tough play. Um, but you got to catch that ball, especially in a live kickoff um, type of situation. That looks to be. Uh, he's walking off. It's a good sign. I think it's number 32 of Fredonia. That's Zach Dolly. Good to see the young man coming off the field. So, yeah, I mean, now a mistake is even bigger for Dunkirk if they do turn it over here and go after it. Again, they can strike. They have the athletes to do it. We've seen it all season. And, I, you know, they can score 21 points in a hurry, and we've seen oh, that yeah, all yeah. season too. Uh, yes. No, by no means uh, they get yeah. the ball at the first half. By no yeah, means absolutely. is this game over. No, absolutely not. And, and if you're the Hillbillies coaching staff, that's the message you got to – give right now and right now there's no one on okay now they're running out there the receiver to the right didn't have a corner on him all right here we go Messina's under center he's got twins right and he is throwing 
Similar oh. pass, oh, oh, pitch pass that's intended to number nine, Conrad Thomas, incomplete. And I don't think the cornerback, I don't know who that was out there, but he did, I don't even yeah. think he saw it. I think no. he was so busy covering, because yep. that ball just went right in front of his face. That could have been yeah. Yeah, a little, ugly. And you know, as much as we've seen Thomas and Messina on the same page tonight, they're just not clicking the way they have all season long. They got to turn that around if they're going to come back in this game. Right, because they're going to have to air it out a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Shotgun formation, twins right, two backs, tra straight drop back. And this is what I was calling for earlier. Messina's got, got the him. arm. Oh. I think he got interfered with terribly. I'd, well, I'll look at, well, or frozen yeah, here on we YouTube, can... but. I mean, that's a good ball. If they do that on that's first and ball. second down, right. that was intended for Rocky Radcliffe. I think both players were going for the ball. Um, and, I mean, if, I thought his hands were on him the last five yards at uh, least. And that, what is that? Is that uh, one Lucas Green on the coverage, I believe, or Russo, number two? I'll tell you, though, I'd rather interfere him than give him the no, touchdown, absolutely. right, at this point, absolutely. especially in high school where it's a 15-yard penalty. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. 50 seconds left, third and 10. Now you got to start thinking about, geez, uh, yeah. do they if give you, it back to him? If they turn it over on a, you know, an all false start here, it looks like. They were running it to, you know, make the clock right. run and make Fredonia, I would say, use a timeout if they don't get it. Now it's going to be third and 15. Offside on Dunker, third down and 15 for the Marauders. I have faith in it. So we've got, uh, yeah, boy, you know, they're all big, I guess, but a five-yard penalty. Now Dunkirk's got a huge decision. Do you run the, I, I gotta believe they're gonna run the ball, force Fredonia to take the timeout, and then hope that they can run out the clock on the last play. I, boy, oh boy. Trying to throw it out of the end zone is gonna be tough. So Dunkirk is coming out with a passing formation. They got twins left, tight end right, Eye behind center. They are going to end it up to Cleckley. He's got some room. He's going to get the first, I believe. I, it's hard to see. We're in the wrong spot on the box. To the 15. Nope. It's going to be. No, he's way short. But at least got some room to do some work. Out, He did go out of bounds to stop the clock at 42 seconds. And Dunkirk is sending on the punting team. So with that, I mean, they, at least they gave him a little breathing room with that run, a nice little run by Cleckley. But had to stay inbounds on that. Short kick, it's gonna roll a little bit right out at midfield. So Fredonia will get it with uh, 34 seconds left. Right at midfield. I mean, uh, hey, why not? I mean, boy, they're lining up in that same trips, the big passing offense, uh, or passing formation. Empty backfield, no Cologne's going heading back. Yep, shotgun, empty backfield, twins, uh, trips, trips right. Ah, Cologne now moved back into the backfield. 34 to go. On the snap. He's got time. He's going to run it. Whoa. There's a flag down behind the play. Capuno ran him out of bounds. Shorts went hard into the bleachers, but he was okay. But we'll see what the flag is. Looks like it's against Fredonia, talking to uh, Conrad Thomas, the Dunkirk captain. So it's holding. That's a 10-yard. So they'll be back at the 
40-yard line, 39, they spot it. So now they're still in their passing offense. Why not? We got trips right. We've got a single receiver left. Cologne, the lone back in the backfield. Schwartz looking for a call. Dunkert got the blitz. Oh, they're going to kneel it down. So Schwartz, they're going to kneel it down and take it into the half. I, I can't imagine Dunkert could call a timeout because they can do it again. Certainly makes some sense rather than give up some momentum and a, and a turnover. And your score at the end of the first half. Interesting. Schwartz looks like he's got a some kind of an injury. They're out there talking to him, a couple of the players. I don't know what happened right there. But he's moving a little bit slow. Could be a story for the second half. But at this point, boy, oh, boy, we've got a... Uh, Oh, I, yeah, we've got uh, Coach Sherlock having a conversation with the officials, and I, I think he, he, he's got a, a, a valid argument. There was a good shove at the end of that play with Schwartz. I'm not sure that that's not what caused the injury, but he went hard into the bleachers. He went hard into the bleachers. Probably, but... But here we are at the, uh, so we've got halftime. Did not expect to be this one-sided either way. And we've got Fredonia up 21 to nothing. It's all about the big plays. Uh, on the, uh, I'm doing some quick stat totaling. Um, you know, we had, our, the only turnover of the game was the Fredonia fumble, which at the time seemed like it was going to have an effect, but certainly didn't. Um, as they were able to overcome that. We've got uh, penalties. We've got Fredonia with four for 25 yards. We've got Dunkirk with three for 11 yards, but none bigger than that, uh, than that uh, uh, offsides that allowed the, that one extra point, uh, you know, led to a two point conversion, which gets us to our 21 now. So Dunkirk certainly, uh, has the ability to score 21 points in the half. Can they stop Fredonia to do that is the, is the big question. So with that, uh, we're going to take about a three-minute break, four-minute break. We're going to tally up the stats, and uh, we'll be right back. Please 
please welcome our JV and varsity cheerleaders. Justice Fancher, Paige Fancher, Ivy Newman, Peyton Stalter, Nora Waterman, Riley Wicks, Ava Zom, and Zoe Zom. We would like to welcome our JV team onto the field. Our JV team consists of Brennan Cave, Raquel Davis, Dino, Dino Del Monte, Logan Dowdy, Garrett Engel, Xander Glazier. Sophie Hollis, 
Malachi Hall, Tyler Kuzdale, Evan Lerino, Jacob Lemke, Mark Levins, Will Marquez, Carson Moon, Simon Price, Jamison Quinn, Michael Riddle, Justin Stalter, Carter Stevens, David Winowitz, Jacob Wiley, Wiley, Brandon Ronsky, and Keegan Whitfield. Let's have a big round of applause for our midget football players and cheerleaders and wish them luck as they compete against Southside and Strider Field in Jamestown tomorrow. This is 130 for the drawing tonight. 50-50. Oh, okay. All right. All right, so we're back. Uh, we just had the, uh, we've seen it in Dunkirk. We see it here. We've had, seen the Fredonia Midgets come out. Great numbers. It's always good to see the youth, uh, you know, recognized here on the big field. And, and I know the kids enjoy it. So as we look at the stats, um, let's take a look here. We, we uh, on the Dunkirk side, you know, I think that, well, I'll tell you that you want to talk about the difference in the game. You've got three for three for 162 yards passing for Trey Schwartz and Fredonia. And we've got 0 for four on the Dunkirk side with two big drops that were where balls were, were maybe three right in their hands. We saw a very nice throw at the end on the bomb, but again, good defensive play. So the difference, you know, the, the running game, the passing, running game's fairly even. We've got... Uh, Boy, I'm looking for my number because I had uh, I had uh, oh man, he talked about my sheet and now I'm looking at it. Uh, 102. Yeah, there we go. Cologne. Uh, I've got Cologne at 23 carries for a hundred. Or I'm sorry, 12 carries. 12 carries for 102 yards. On the other side, Cleckley, 11 carries for 93 yards. Uh, Dunkirk, as usual, has a few more people carrying the ball. Um, uh, although, really, it has been Cleckley versus uh, Cologne. I mean, Skinner on the Fredonia side. Skinner had a carry. Uh, one carry for four yards. Schwartz ends up four for minus 11, but he had to take, you know, I didn't, I, I, boy, I don't know how they count the kneel down, to be honest with you. So I didn't put any yards lost on that. But he did have another where the, there was a, a snap that was lost and they ended up recovering it. He takes those. So he was four carries for minus 11 yards um, to give, really, that gives uh, a total of 12, 13, 17 carries. If we take those away, we're down to 91, 95, 17 carries for 95 yards um, on the uh, on the. On the Fredonia side, on the Fredonia side, uh, Odebrowski had one carry for seven. Uh, Milliman had one had one carry for four, and uh, Messina had four carries for six. So we've got seventeen there, which would put uh, one ten. Six, so 17 carries. Both teams have 17 rushes. Dunkirk has 110 yards. Uh, Fronia has 95 yards, so very even. Both uh, running backs had one big run. The big difference is Cologne's found the end zone, and uh, 
Cleckley's got you know he got caught with a with a great uh, touchdown saving tackle, and then the Fredonia defense stepped the Fredonia defense stepped up and didn't let him in. Uh, you know he, that was a it ended up being a we said it at the time that it was a big play and it ended up being a huge play as it was kind of a turnaround of momentum. And uh, when when Dunkirk had they turned it over on downs the quarter ended. They had Fredonia pinned down, and rather than holding them in their own end, they gave up that 92-yard touchdown to uh, from Schwartz to Skinner. And Skinner's having a monster game on defense as well. But, yeah, 162 yards, two touchdowns, three passes. Three for three, 162, and two touchdowns. It's a pretty darn good day uh, compared to, you know, you look over at the Dunkirk side, and they're zero for four. And we really thought... I really thought that the passing game was going to be a big part of the difference. If if Fredonia, I mean, if Dunkirk was going to uh, to to win this game, that it was because they had a slightly more accomplished passing game. But boy, oh boy, Schwartz and uh, and uh, Skinner, Schwartz and uh, and uh, uh, Levens, two big plays. Uh, even the other pass to Skinner, the 20-yard uh, completion for a first down was a, was a big play. So really, uh, those three pass plays are really the big difference in the game. And here we sit 21 to nothing. Uh, Dunkirk, I watched, you know, I, I, I bring the binoculars so I can try to see things that, that, that are going on. And, and I don't usually watch the game with them, but I did watch the coaching staff and the players. And, the Dunkirk players didn't look like they were panicking. I looked in the coaches. You know, they were engaged the entire time. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't a pep rally or or, or, a, or a, a you know an anger fest at all. It was it was you know we're looking to do business. I could see the look on the Dunkirk players' face was that they were there. So I don't think um, there's a quit in them. And certainly in this game, there's there's never a quit. By the same token, Fredonia is now out there feeling pretty darn good. They're up 21 to nothing. They're moving the ball. They're they're making plays, uh, and they're back out on th this you know beautiful night, stretching out and get ready. We got about a minute and a half to go before um, before we start this second half. Once again, Fredonia will be kicking off to Dunkirk. Boy, it's imperative. Dunkirk has got to start with a big drive. They've got to you know. You know, you don't want to say they've got to get in the end zone, but they've at least got to show that they can move the ball and make plays. Al Fazer running this officiating crew. It wouldn't be appropriate without him. I don't know if he's missed a Dunkirk Fredonia game in, uh, you know, in a gazillion years. Has done a great job and, uh, and really keeps this crew together. As we get ready for the second half, I got a little, you know, hopefully we've got, uh, you know, the crew over at Coglins. I know they had the game on. I hope the stream is working. The, 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 uh, so we got a little shout out. Um, you know, a lot of the local spots get to, you know, that's wonderful about local access, whether it's Dunkirk or Fredonia, Fredonia access, you know, that we've got this game running through the cable. And so people that couldn't make it out here or want to watch it, you know, as if it were the big game that it is, they're they're able to, to to watch it from where they want, so we, we really appreciate the uh, the the work of uh, you know Chip Rewald here in Fredonia and uh, Gabe Taylor in Dunkirk and all their crews and the people because you know we get to bring these games and as important we get to um, you know we've had I've I've been getting some texts I know we're having a little bit of uh, of a uh, a glitch with the. Uh, the technical difficulties of a, of a YouTube stream, but uh, the game will be recorded. It will be on again. So if there was a point or, what, you know, hey, let's face it, even if it's the kids and their families and the fans that are here wanting to watch it again, it's, it is going to be on, and that's just a, a, a huge bonus. You know, I, I think back to our playing days when, when, you know, we're lucky to find an old grainy film laying around somewhere that, uh, you know, in an 8 millimeter or something like that that works. So... And so one more time, we'll go over those stats. Uh, on the Dunkirk side, they had, uh, Cleckley was 11 for 93 on the ground, and, and, and Dunkirk as a whole was 17 for 110. The big stat for Dunkirk was the zero for four passing. And certainly they get, they're going to need to get that clicking a little bit to get this thing back under, you know, to get back in this. 
On the Fredonia side, Fredonia was, uh, you know, w you have Cologne at 12 for 102, 17 carries for 95 yards in total uh, for Fredonia. So Dunkirk on the ground is, is ahead, but, but boy, oh boy, that stat that we've been talking about, three for three for 162 yards and two touchdowns uh, is the, uh, it, it, you know, Trey Schwartz has come out and, like I said, you can't get more efficient than that. Yeah, Trey Schwartz had a, a great first half, um, but he took a hard shot at the end of the half there into he, the bleachers. Yeah, yeah. Did you and, hear anything on that? Because uh, I know that the coaches were hot. Yeah, he well, he is banged up. Um, that's for sure. They're, they're concerned. He hit, I think he even hit his helmet on the metal bar and chest into the... I thought he the, yeah, his nose. He the, looked right. like he was... Yep. Yeah, and they're they're definitely you know taking a look at him, making sure he's okay. But it's a, I mean, even up twenty one nothing, you lose your quarterback. That's a big oh big gosh, concern, yes. and you know hopefully he's okay. And you got to be careful with him starting both ways. You may have to take him out on defense here at least to protect him. And he is going out there to kick off. Uh, he's a senior. He's a gamer. He's not. Gonna, yeah, he's not. You're going to drag gonna take me off this field, exactly. coach. Exactly, and. and and, uh, but sometimes you have to protect players, even on the NFL level, from themselves. But hopefully he's okay. We'll keep an eye on him. But that was a definitely, uh, uh, I don't know if it was a late hit. I didn't see it. But it was, it, it along was the really sideline. really close to a late hit. Yeah. And it wasn't a big extension. Uh, you know, he was going out of bounds. I don't know. if, But the Dunkirk player really only gave him a nudge. and it was, But it was a nudge. It wasn't a let him run out. And yeah. that nudge, because... Uh, it's a tight Schwartz was already line. moving, yeah. and it is a tight sideline. And he went hard into that bleacher. <laughs> Schwartz a big guy; he's not yeah. going, you know. So it was really on the border of whether I, I would have called it or not. And here we okay. go. Yeah. Once again, they let that kick off with bounce, but they scoop it up right around the 15. Nice return here, down to about the 32, 33 yard line, depending when they spot it. So good field position. Um, and they got to start catching that ball in the air. They've kicked it in the same spot, it seems like, every time. And that time it was a nice one-hop to them, but it causes a lot of problems when you do that. And Schwartz is coming off the field, it looks like, here. So they're not going to be playing him on defense. At least to start. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you got a 21-0 right. lead. I mean, yeah. if it tightens up, I'll bet we'll see him back yeah, in that we'll game. Yeah, we'll see. But that's so probably go. a good move. He doesn't look super comfortable on the sideline, but that is something to keep note. Milliman in the eye formation here. Pitch to Cleckley. Oh, he's got a head of steam. And he's still on his feet. Green is holding his hand boy, literally. Oh yeah. He had to hold on to wow. that ball. So Dunker couldn't ask for a better yeah. first play to come out with. You know, and that's the first time we've seen that little half pitch, isn't yes. it? Yes, it is. And that's been a play that's been outstanding for them all year because it allows Cleckley to get that head of steam hitting the line of scrimmage. He hit a gap, and, man, he took advantage of it. So a big 36-yard carry to start out, yeah. uh, uh, and that's going to put him at a first and 10. They went from 132 to the other 32. Absolutely. And one difference here is, I mean, every other game, that's been a touchdown. You're, you're yes. Broke. And twice now he's broke through in the secondary with their speed and athletic ability. has been at least able to stop the touchdown. Let's see if Dunker can convert this time. Right back to Cleckley to the left got side. He's gap. got another more room again, and once again, it looks like that might be the senior Lucas Green riding his back. There's a late flag coming in. I got to believe that's a late call on. Uh, Let's see who it's on. I We couldn't we see. We really it. see something. Oh, no. Oh, it's against Dunkirk. That'll be a spot foul. Will they? I, I think they get the first down. We'll see. Was it? Well, it was first down anyways, but yeah. Now, was that a holding or a face mask? I don't think I – it looked like well, some kind of a, a, point, a block in the back. We have a cell phone that's been turned into the press box that was found over on the hill. So that'll be a Boy, spot that's foul. A big, that's a huge – I mean, again, we talked – It's you know. still going to be positive. I mean, they're going to be first and eight, first and nine. So it's – you know, they still have the down. They're still head of the box here, but Barely, they lost no. – Yeah, they lost yep. a big play. first and nine. And it, you know, probably unnecessary. You already had a first down. You gain 12, 13 yards there. Let them, let them get tackled at that point. Let the defender go if you're blocking downfield there. 
So we got a first and nine, a strange first and yeah, nine exactly. from the 31. And credit to this Marauder offense so far. They are not going away. And there's that little pitch sweep to the right. Um, but still a nice gain on first down. Yep. You know, you had Seward in there and others. Uh, that might have been Russo also in on the tackle. So it's a gain of about three. I would say it looks like it's second and six because it was yep. first and nine. <laughs> so I think it was three yard gain on the play. Odd. But Marauders are coming out here and say, we're not going anywhere right now. And if they convert this drive, now the pressure's back on the Fredoni offense a little bit. So this is well, we talked a nice to the, it, start. You know, I talked at halftime. We had, they had to come out <clears throat> and do something. At least even if they don't get it in the end zone here, They've got that first bit of positive momentum, but boy, yeah. oh boy, they don't want to they waste need a drive. A score. Yeah, yeah, they need a score here. After Once again, they're going to the sweep. He's got room. Lead open field tackle. That's Piper on the tackle. But that offensive line on the right side yeah. dominated. That'll be a first down. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't. He didn't get hit till seven yards downfield on that play. Gain of eight. Yeah, so that. it's first and ten. And, and I'll give Piper some credit. We haven't seen Cleckley get tackled by the first guy all season. Now, that was seven, eight yards down the field. Yeah, but you got well, him. Piper You're took right. him down himself, and I have not seen that happen. Cause, and that's giving Cleckley a lot of credit because he's an outstanding running back. 1,000 yards coming into today. Power eye. Once, okay, we got to push this time. That's a good job. That's the first on this half, really, first dispossession. First time the Fredonia defensive line has controlled that line of scrimmage. We still got, only still going to get a yard. So as we second down and nine, balls right on the 20 and the right hash. Nine minutes left in the third quarter. Score is still Fredonia 21, Dunkirk nothing. But Dunkirk is driving here and looking for their first score of the game, and it would be a big one. So here we go, we're back in the power eye. They're just lining it up. Little pitch. That, yep, that's that. And he's got, oh, he's they got sealed the edge. It looks like we lost sight, but I think he stopped Five yard short. line, yeah, out of bounds on the five. Yep. Yep. So a big 15 yard run. I mean, and that, that little pitch play, and you know, you look at it, you're like, why do they do it? But I'll tell you what. Um, all year long, and now in the second half here, it's been so effective, giving Cleckley just that little extra momentum. Yep, letting and, them get started, yeah. And what else I think it does is it gets them off square, running straight at the line so he can see the line of scrimmage better to pick a hole, and he does that very well. So first and goal at the five, same formation, two tight end set. Power eye, Messina under center, and go figure, they went to Cleckley. And he is met at the line of scrimmage right around the five. I think it's going to be no gain on the play. Second down and goal from the five. And if you're the Marauders here, you have to score. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Get this ball into the end zone. So now, now, now is the time, and you've been calling for it. Now is the time that they want to run that little... Uh, play action pass instead of Could waiting be. until it's third down or fourth and obvious you know yeah and that's tough because I mean yeah if you're thinking if you're the dunker coach I got three Cleckley's downs just been rocking yeah to get yeah. five yards I should be able to do that I'd like to see him go outside I'd like to see him pitch it to Cleckley and let him take it outside because the box is so full right yeah. now yeah you know, and, and that's how they got a lot of their yardage to that right side this time they're going to the left off he's and he's gonna it. bounce it and, oh, that's nope. nice, nice job. Bill. Who was out there? Like two or number three. Oh, you know, that was Dalton Gardner. He didn't yep. make the tackle, but. Stood him up. Yes, he slowed him down just enough because it looked like there was a lot of real estate out there when he first bounced it. Gain of one. Uh, good job by Dalton Gardner, junior linebacker out there. Uh, yep, it's going to be third down and goal at the four. So you still have two downs to get four yards here. Wow. Great start second half. I mean, yeah, you, you forget to come what the score is right now. This right. is exciting. Well, like, you know, it's funny. One thing I didn't do, well, we'll talk about it after because yeah. we got a big play here. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen under center. Little spread. Yeah, we got a wing right this time. And they're going to, oh, it's play action. 
He's oh, oh interference has got to be no. Looks like their feet did get tangled up. Wow. And uh, I he knocked that's him down. Obrowski, um did fall down on the play. You know, it could be one of those incidental contacts. You know, both guys were stumbling if they ran into each other. You know, no call on the play, though. Fourth and goal at the four-yard line. I don't have my replay anymore to look at it. Marauders fourth and goal from the four. Is that the replay? He ain't giving that. That's, no. yeah, you were Chip. slowing it down. <laughs> yeah, I was there slowing it go. down. Now Chip's keeping it so he can make sure it's running, which is good. We want it to work for you guys. But we were curious Here to we see Here we go. We how, got twins right. Yep. We got a little spread offense. Okay. They're giving it it's to Cleckley. Cleckley and he and is in. in. Wow, big, big play. Absolutely. And, it, and Sartori made the call, giving it to his star tailback. And Spread it out a little bit, though. Just kind of open yeah. that because that box was packed. There was uh, 22 yeah. guys in there. You know what I mean? Right. That's a formate. I mean, it's the same play, off tackle run, but that's a great point, Greg. You move receivers out wide, you're taking defenders out wide out of the box, too. And he walks in untouched. Big touchdown. 21 to 6. 640 remaining in the um, third quarter. So it's a big drive. Two-point conversion attempt with Center Center. Twins right, right back to Cleckley. Same play. He's being strung out this time and stopped. Wow. What a job there. Oh, Cleckley didn't like it. Threw that ball up in the air, but that's Dalton Gardner once again with that camo undershirt on, making a big stop on Cleckley. So, and that's you know, we, right. The score will remain 21 to six. Fredonia over Dunkirk, 640. Sorry, Greg. Go no, ahead. that's good. We talked about, um, you know, once again, just as we looked, if you don't look at the scoreboard, if you don't look at the scoreboard, you think this game is much closer because of those three, those mainly two huge Fredonia big plays yeah. uh, from the passing game. But time of possession in the first half, Fredonia did have an edge at but only at 12.53 to 11.07. Yeah, that's, so, not a, that's not a three score edge by any no means. No way, no way. I mean, Dunker getting more yards on the ground. And right yeah. there, we just watched a uh, 68 yard, let's right. see, 68 yard drive and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine play drive, eight of those to Cleckley for right. 68 yards. Well. And, I mean, Fredonia has their three big plays for three touchdowns. And Dunkirk has two big plays of their own. The first one, yep. um, they we st Fredonia stopped and then stopped the drive. Second one, Fredonia stopped, but then Dunkirk was able to capitalize and get the ball in the end zone. So, really, it's two to three in big plays, just three to one in touchdowns. Yep. Uh, sh high kick right about the 15. That's Dom Gullo on the return. He's going to cut it off the mid. Oh, if he could have turned that corner. But nice tackle by Odo Brawls. Is that a there. flag or is that uh, a marker? I think it's a marker. I don't okay. see any yellow. That gets me sometimes, too, when they yep. throw that marker in. So that's a nice, it's a nice little return to the know, 29. And a nice tackle by Odo Brawlski because yep. it looked like for a second there he's about to turn the corner and, and bounce it out to the 40, 50 yard line. So Fredonia's got it. They now they got to respond, yes, right? I mean, it's, uh, you know, twenty-one you to go, six. Yeah. right. You don't want to go three and out here and give the ball right back to him. How's Trey Schwartz? And there's Nate Schuert with a different uniform on. Like, I don't know how he does it. It's like the the magicians changing in I theater. I think he's got a. I think he actually has a set of pads. shoulder pads yeah. too. Yeah. So he just jumps in and out. Power eye. Clone didn't even move to the up back here. Uh, Skinner. No, I think, was that Gardner? Was that Skinner or was it Skinner? Gardner? I'm not, I oh, think it was Gardner. Gardner. Yep, yeah, it was the Gardner. The little guy, okay. And, and that's, you know, he's a quick little scat bat, you know, and he's a strong wrestler and so yeah. on. It's not like he's not powerful. But size-wise, he's more like a scat back. And a uh, nice little different change play, um, change up there. I think Cologne's got to sell that bit more, too. He just stood there. I know. He needs he to did. act like he's yep. getting the ball. To, Do something. To, to, Put yes. his hands up. There's a triple I and again, once again same carry. Going to, you know, and if the, yeah. Well, that's a terrible mark. Oh, wow. Don't you think? I, I think mean, it so seemed like too. that's where I'm he started the contact, yeah. got whipped forward. 
Yeah, I thought he had another yard there anyway. It's going to be third and one here. I'm going to watch it in the replay. And he might have bounced for us. He did get thrown to the ground. It's hard to say. So, But I, I thought it was farther, but even in this replay, I couldn't tell. So I guess we can't criticize so we're, yeah, we're, the officials too much. Big down, though. Big down. They got to get, if you're Fredoni, you got to get a first down. Dunkirk, you rally and stop him here, get the ball back. Now you're feeling good. Absolutely. And it's a QB Kobe sneak. sneak. and he's got it. He does. Good quick snap. Yes, it was. Took and a page out of Dunkirk's playbook. You know, and that's uh, the second time I think they've done that. And that's a good sign on the Trey Schwartz with the taking that hit at the end of the first half there that he was able to do that and they were comfortable enough to call that. So first down, ball at the 40, clock's running, 5.08. Remaining score is still 21 to six. Fredonia over Dunkirk. Interestingly enough, we haven't seen Clone touch the ball yet this half. No, we haven't. I got a feeling it's, it's not going to last right too long. Right. Yeah. Another change. I don't see. Nope. No. That's Levens this time. And once again, I if I'm the coaching one. staff, I. And I'm watching this film. If they're not noticing it now. I watch, I saw what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, he's just standing there. You know the defense is keying him. So right. just by sprinting to the right or left, you might draw a linebacker or something with you, and that could be the difference. So that looked like that might have been Levens on the carry. Um, no gain, it was. No gain on the play. It'd be second down and 10. And, you know, you got to play every down fully. You have to carry that out, and, and that's a... You know, they're 18 year old kid, but that's that's a big, the little things make a difference in the football game. Two tight end set, power eye. Um, and here's Cologne. He's got room. to the outside, he has space, turns the corner, and he is gonna be, yep. he's gone. There's nobody's catching him. So that is a 60 yard touchdown run and second down and 10, and there's the response the Fredoni offense needed. Boy, and that is just a, uh, a backbreaker for Dunkirk after yeah. making that big drive, getting them to a uh, second and ten. They, they, you know, they gave up the third and one, and then the first Cologne's first touch of the second half, and he's on a sixty-yard dash. And, and you know, he's gonna watch his film and say, "Shut up, Davis. I yep, do what yep. I want. I just had a sixty-yard <laughs> run." But I'm telling you, young man, that can make a difference play every down fully and you're going to draw some well, linebackers out of there going to play somewhere else absolutely in the future. or play i mean that's you right. you fake like you're pitching i guarantee someone's following you high snap the kick is down and it is good, good. as poocher on the extra point attempt that'll make the score 28 to 6 for Donia over dunker 351 um 28 dunker 6 Left two, 351 left here in the third quarter. And that's that's some nice kicks by Putri. He's really getting some distance and pop on the ball. Um, moving on. So, again, great response by the Fredoni offense. And now if you're Dunkirk, come right back, punch back. You know, drive yep. down. And, again, they have Cleckley. They have Radcliffe. They have Thomas. They have Leeper, Messina. They can score quick, too. Um, and, and that's what you're telling the, your team if you're Coach Sartori over there. Boy, they, uh, but I'll tell you what, that, um, you know, 60 yard run, just boom, like that. All of a sudden, Dunkirk, you know, yeah. went from, hey, here we go, yeah. we're going to come back, we're going to make our run. How many How many points can they score in a yeah. half on this defense? Oh, absolutely. That, that, I mean, that's huge. No doubt about it. Um, you know, you're, you're Fredonia, you definitely are feeling good, but. We've seen crazier things happen, that's for sure. And if I'm the Fredoni coaching staff, I'm reminding my players this is far from over. Don't let up. Keep playing. Don't change your play calling. I mean, they're running the ball every down, so right. how would they? Right. But so you, you want to stay aggressive here. Don't get in that defense mode. Um, prevent defense, whatever, because that prevents you from winning more times than not. So Schwartz is on to kick it off. Let's see if they adjust to this high middle kick and can catch it in the air and this time they Got are it. going to and they're going to have a lot better field position they're already up to the 30 before their touch it's Rocky Radcliffe running backwards there a little bit though yeah I mean he lost he was almost at the 30 yeah. at first contact and then trying he to make a big play yeah. it's still a nice return but you, you know you, he gave up four yards there on the return 
So ended up with about a 14 yard return. And we, I don't think we had any time run off the clock. We're still at 341. No, it didn't run at all. That's okay, we'll forgive you over here. <laughs> we're all volunteers. So right. we're on the 26, it looks yep. like. Maybe 27, it's hard to tell, but uh, huge drive. Dunkirk needs it, and they're still, you know, they're not breaking from what they do. Two tight end set, power eye. Might be a nice time for play action, and it, it is. is. Schuert's all over him, though. Nice him. throw. Oh, oh. man, I'll tell you, if Schuert didn't get that pressure, he had Tom, Thomas open, but with Schuert's pressure, the ball hung up a little higher, and Lucas Green was able to break on it and break out the pass. And I, I'm not sure why. I mean, Dunkirk had two receivers, the both right there, and, and yeah. that drew a bunch of black jerseys. It did. It, but if Schuert didn't get that pressure on, I think that's a completed pass because uh, we see the oh, nice yeah. job even getting that off. So we're back at second and 10 on the 26. Now they've got to figure it out. Yeah, you know, do you right. abandon the run? Do you go back to it? They got a leaper split right. They got a double split. No. Was that leaper and Thomas the other yep. side, maybe? And those are two big receivers. Drop He's back. He's gonna pass. throw it again. Screen. Screen pass. Lot of I room. like the you got Rocky Radcliffe. Milliman. Oh Milliman, you're right. You're right. Seven. And we ha I mean, we haven't seen a lot of Milliman all no, year. And you keep throwing the name out like you got him right away. It's a and I don't remember saying Milliman's name throughout the season, but he's been a big player for Dunkirk tonight. It's a gain of almost eight yards, third and two. Good call. Fredonia's defense is definitely going to tee off on the pass rush, and they caught him a little bit. Okay, one receiver right. We got That's a leaper to the right. And they're going back to, Ooh, oh, nothing Tackled the there. ball, too. Yeah. Lost a yard. There's a senior, Nate Stewart, first one in there, and he wants everyone to know about it. He's a little excited about the play. Fourth down. They're going to punt the ball. I want, well, they're at their own. Uh, yeah, yeah they got, I guess they got to. I mean, it's, you know, you, you think still 233 and running in the in the third, so you've still got time to score. You don't yeah. want to give them the short field. Well, let's see if Fergoni even sends someone back here, you know, watching for that fake. Yeah, not they're not. Not even doing it. Nope. And I don't blame I mean, let it roll, whatever. Don't give up. Oh, we got a late substitution. That has to be a flag. He was Actually, offside. They didn't well, but call he was it. going backwards in motion. I mean, you think about it. We're going to talk about this in a second. Yeah. Now. It's down to the 20. Nice That's punt. That's a great punt. Now, there is a late flag. Now, let's see what that is. I didn't think he got. I'm going to watch it here. I didn't think he even made it to. Okay, so he's oh, on he side. was on side. You could yeah. consider it motion. motion. I mean, I, but, he never, but do you have to come set first? I, I don't know. Because he didn't, uh, that's he, an odd he certainly play. didn't come set. And the officials are talking at the 40s. They're trying to figure it out. Good, I don't feel so bad. I don't know if that has anything with the late player coming on or something else happened. Um, but we'll see what Boy, the signal is. Boy, and that will be is. terrible because without having anyone back, that was just a... Uh, Great punt. Yeah, let's see. And you got to get... 50, no. Okay, here's the signal coming yeah, up Yeah, 52-yard net if that stands. Who are they talking to? I, the officials are talking to each other. You think they? Yeah, I don't think there's not a captain no, over there. No, there's not. Yeah. Okay, here Boy, comes the announcement. Something against what? Fredonia. What is, I don't have. What was fist together? I don't know <laughs> that call. Fist together. Anyone got that call? Yeah. What are, <laughs> No one's got that call. Let's go look it up on the internet right now because I do not have a clue what that one and was. And where would it have been? What could the call have been? Uh, Ferroni wasn't even trying to return. Uh, no, I did think that there might have been an offside. I thought Ferroni might have uh, followed that guy that was in motion. If you look at it again when we, we saw the replay, but that's not the call. Oh, and they're marking more off. So it's oh, yeah. a 52-yard net plus the 10-yard penalty. Whatever the heck they did. And I don't know if I'm going to find this or football penalty with two <laughs> fists right. together. I am literally searching that right now, and I doubt it's going to work. But we'll see. So they're backed up. Uh, Fredonia's backed up to the 10, first and 10. So while, uh, you know, Dunkirk didn't get anything there and they had to punt, but a big 62-yard net between the penalty and the kick backs Fredonia up. 
Now they're looking to, you know, let's face it. Yeah. It, down three scores with two to go. You're going to need a turnover somewhere. Certainly it, ha it, it swings momentum quicker if it happens down on this end of the field. And, yeah, and at least, you know, you get a three and out, you're going to get great field position here. Swartz is back under center, power eye to the up back. You know, Once again, and, same thing with, yeah, yeah I, right? I know. we'll beat that dead horse, so I guess we got to give up on it. But, again, he didn't move. Who carried that ball? Gardner, Gardner, Gardner yep. Yeah. Getting a big workload in the second yeah. half. Well, they know they're key in Cologne, and that's kind of our point. Sell it more. Right. Um, you, know, you know, and that's going to open up when they do give it to you as well because if you act like you're getting it every time, even when you don't, right. it opens it up for you. Yeah, I'm not having any look, but we'll try to get what that penalty was at some point here before the broadcast is over because I'm curious myself. So second down and nine, power eye, Schwartz under center. This time it's a pitch to Cologne. He's got, oh, big. Nice job. Wow. That's a phenomenal job. Wow. Odebrowski by... fought off the tackle yeah. and then made the or fought off the block and then made the tackle. That was I mean, a great little play. Absolutely. I mean, you you got Dalton Gardner on their lead blocking, hit him hard, and he ran right through that. And then you tackle Cologne and able to with the one hand pull him yeah. down. I mean, that's a phenomenal, phenomenal play. Can't say enough about that. So we got a Big third and five. Yeah. Dunkirk defense has got to come up here. Yeah, because, I mean, you have to punt if you don't get a first down if you're right. Fredonia here. No, right. even if it's a yard, you're you're punting it away, I would think. Now, if you go for it and get it, you're a genius. If you don't, you're <laughs> two tight end set, power eye. And I. Oh, timeout. Fredonia's going to call the timeout, make sure they get it right, I guess. Yeah. Now, it's interesting. So far, Skinner has lined up at solely tight end this half, not at fullback. I was just looking to make sure he was out there, and he was at the right tight end. Schuert's at the left tight end in this last formation. So he's definitely on the field. Um, but in the first half, in the last game, too, Skinner's played a lot more fullback. So we'll keep an eye on that, too. 24 seconds. Wow, that's a quick third quarter. That's only 24 seconds I thought the left. first quarter went fast, yeah. but boy, oh, boy, that did fly. Uh, you know, I don't. I mean, we didn't have an incomplete pass. No, we had one, one incomplete pass, right? Right. Yep. Stop the clock once. I mean, otherwise it's been run, 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 and it takes a lot of time. And that's that's what Fredonia. I mean, that's a great. They exchanged scores and made it through the quarter right now with 24 seconds left. That's a win for Fredonia. And Karen Nicosia. You're a winner in tonight's football raffle. Name your prizes at the press box. Taunting. What was it? Huh. Because usually that's a. What are we calling it? What was it? Well, there's rumor that that might have been a taunting single. Oh, a taunting. A single. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to see if I can look that up. Like what you know. Uh, on my phone too, like what's the call for taunting? And that, and that's an undisciplined error if that's what it is by Fredonia. You don't need to get into that at all. You're up, let the scoreboard do the talking if you're a Fredonia. And they are passing, oh, quick nice pass to Skinner. Play. Big and play. Wow, yeah. Continues his efficiency. Absolutely. And I mean, Skinner's got to be close to 100 yards receiving himself right now, isn't he? First down. Well, he had 92 on one, so yeah, I guess that'll put him over. Let's catch, see. Right? Well, and that's his third catch. Did he have the 20? Yeah, he had the 20-yarder. Yeah. That was a. That was the. Yep. So way over. Let's see. So what did we get there? We're at the uh, 28. Three quarters of play. The score for Donia. That was a little 13-yard reception. Boy, I didn't think it was quite that much, but. Yeah, it was a nice, quick little post. Uh, fairly safe pass play. You know, you're not not a high risk of interception, but then again, ask Russell Wilson about that in the end zone. Um, it's a legal shift. And I'm still I'm looking at the different penalty. Yeah, trying to figure it out. To see if it's on there, and I haven't found it yet. 
the so uh, it's still up in the air, and some of you, someone out there knows it and calling us an idiot right now for not well, figuring that out. But text it in or something. Yeah. What about the next one? Uh, that's I only got two pages on oh, there. Oh, gotcha. Huh. I mean, personal foul on well, sports and like conduct. Yeah, we'll we're still looking. It's just my curiosity more than anything. Interestingly at this enough, point. Dunkirk now at that quarter had the ball for six minutes and 57, all but a minute three of that quarter. The ball was in Dunkirk's hands. Doesn't matter, Fredonia's still in control. Right. I mean, yeah, they exchanged scores, and and that's you know that's a win for Fredonia without a doubt when you're going in up 21 nothing. No, I got to be wrong on that. Yeah, and we're we're getting some rain forecast here coming in the storm. <laughs> not until it's not. No, yeah, you push gotta, that. Use yeah. your finger and push that thing away, right? He's got it's, the radar out. Yeah, and it's. I mean, there's a lot of people here that are not going to get out of here very fast if it does start to rain. If it rains, I hope it's not lightning. All right, so here we go. Starting of the fourth yep. quarter. Um, hand off to Cologne. Ooh. Oh, and he is hit hard, but he's still Stays on his up. feet. Breaks another tackle to the outside. Stiff arm, and he's finally pushed out of bounds, not for a gain of almost, well, 16, 17 yards. Uh, and that's a great run by that young man. He took two hard hits. Moreland right. popped him uh, yes, hard. Yes, he did. And I, he bounced, he jumped back about a yard, gained his balance, and went. And, and we've watched, I've done what, four games? You've done five games, yep. and, and I haven't seen that all year or in more. I mean, Moreland's a, a veteran, right. converted offensive lineman, fullback, all-star linebacker. So that's, that's yeah, some to credit break to that Cologne. Tackle. Yeah, right. Again to Gardner as the second back. Still fighting. Yo. I always, I think they should blow that whistle a little sooner. Yeah, I mean, he was going, he got pushed back two yards, then hit the ground, then they blew the whistle. And, and that's when emotions Injuries get the and, best. Yep. Yeah, and, and bad things happen. Right there, I'm watching the replay. Should have been blown when it was, he got pushed back to the 49. Plays over, blow the whistle. Great play by the defense. But Second a good down. big three yeah, yards. Yeah, big exactly. Big three yards. Keeps that clock running. Yeah, I was wrong on my 10 possession, by the way. <laughs> but it, Dunker controlled it, just not as dominant as yeah. I thought, you know. Yeah. Yeah, no. It, and it made sense. They had that nice long oh. drive. Oh, what? It, okay. There's got to be a flag somewhere. Yeah. Two, both teams. I don't know who it's on, who, but yeah. that whole right side, left side. Who went first here? And it is going to be against oh. Fredonia. Oh, okay. You know, what came first, the chicken or the egg? You and that time it. it was the hillbilly. <laughs> oh, man. I, I was reaching for that one. <laughs> first penalty First penalty of the, uh, well, no, second penalty of the half, that big 10 yard. Yeah, the, with the mysterious two fists put yeah. together penalty call. So now we've got second and 11. Yep. And, yep. The ball back at the 45, Marauder defense, no more first downs here. You have to stop them. You have to get the ball back and score quickly to have a chance here. And there's some communication between Schwartz and his running backs. Uh, going to Cologne up the middle. Good job, not a lot there. Uh, maybe gain a two, so it's gonna be third and long. Marauders have to convert on this third down. They have to get off the field and they have not I mean, for the first game all season, they have not done a great job of getting off the field in third down. Fredonia has converted. I don't have the stats. You know, we don't have stat guys here besides Greg. I'm going to try to figure that out. Let's but see. They, Fredonia has done, by my eye and memory, a great job converting on third. I mean, big plays, too, on third down. Think about that 90-some-yard touchdown pass to Jacob Skinner. Right. Third and long, deep in their own territory, and so on. So... You know, a couple big passes, that's two, three big passes alone to Jacob Skinner on third down. And they're going to him again. They're looking for him. He's uh -oh. not there. Schwartz pumps, throws, and he throws that. Oh, yeah. boy. I mean, great job. I mean, and honestly, I think Skinner would have been open, but that was great pressure by the defensive line. And those passes, and we, we've talked about that earlier. We've seen Trey try to do too much, and that almost could have been an example of that. That pass could have been picked off and gone. You know, if Leeper right. comes up with that, or Cleckley comes up with that, excuse with me. With a lot of room to oh, run. Oh, there's no one out there. 
it could have been a quick touchdown. That was an ill-advised throw. They got away with it. It did stop the clock. 10:05. Great, good job by the Dunkirk defense forcing the punt. And that's a nice high punt. It's going to be over, over the, the defender. Edge. Oh, that's if trouble. If it stays out of the end zone, and it's going to, that's a great job by Swartz and the special teams of the Hillbillies. 46 yard net. Wow. 47 yard net. That's gotta a, catch that ball. Yeah, and that, it like, was over his head. I mean, you gotta be deeper, right? Yep, you don't let the yep. ball go over your head. It's no, not, he didn't boot that 50 yards, you know, it was 35 in the air. Mm -hmm. It almost looked like we weren't even fully set before he punted it. You know, they were just yep. getting back there. So now, if you're Marauders, you got 9.53, you're down by three scores, and you're on your own four yard line in the fourth quarter. You, you can't run this down on a 15 yard play and score. I mean, if you're Dunkirk defense, you take that. You know, like right. four, four or five yard runs all the way down the field. Right, you'll let them take grind you it. Right. Yep, you gotta start airing it yeah. out and getting moving. Yeah, you gotta make big plays here. And that puts a lot of pressure on you when you have the ball in your own four yard line. But that is, you know, trying to get some room here, I understand. You know, and you got to look, is he okay? A Dunkirk lineman is slow to get off. That's Cleckley on the carry. Gain of, looks like about four if you trust the uh, down guy over there. Cleckley carries for a gain of four. And the scoreboard's agreeing with him. Ball's on the eight. Clock is running, 9.25. Second and six. The clock now has become Fredonia's best friend. Absolutely. And the Dunkirk's got to strike it here and get some big plays. Yeah, they got, the, you know, Fredonia has to commit a turnover for Dunkirk to get back in this thing. Uh, yeah, I mean. If they just grind away as they've been doing, they'll be fine. Here's play the play action. action. He's back in his own end zone. He's got Leaper. He does, and, and it's incomplete. And again, it's that rollout pass, and you know, you have to that play. Fredoni only had to guard a third of the field. Right. Like spread them. It was and, and two it, receivers out. Yeah. You, you know, know, in a third of the field, and and Fredoni does have some very good, experienced defensive backs out there, and they're covering their guys. Yeah, that was good cover. Uh, again, it was catchable, but it would have taken amazing, like a Darius very good Bat catch. Bat Bat Batten, do I say a Batten? Do you know? You know, I'm not sure on that, but... We apologize if we're getting it wrong, but hey, we said it. Yeah. <laughs> we made the, that's another big It'll play. It'll be our second mistake all year, so there we'll do go. it all right. So okay, we got Dunger twins the, left. Yeah. Rod, or that's Radcliffe and Thomas, two excellent receivers. Um, oh, and he is hit immediately. He's lucky to not get a safety. Yeah, and the four progress is going to be at the, about the three, I would say. Um, but... Boy, that was, I mean, so I'm not sure what the heck was going on. Receivers are Cleck deep next to each other. And uh, and Cleckley, who was staying in to block apparently, was behind, you know, either behind by design Messina. or something. Yeah. He was behind Messina when he was getting sacked. Yeah. Yeah. So that's got to be down to the one, two, yeah, the I one. I think it was, yeah. okay, they're putting it at the, Wow, I thought his forward progress had been a little farther than that, but now you're putting out of your own end zone about nine yards deep. Wow. Oh, they, big mistake. They hit punt return team. You had too many guys on the field if you're Dunker or Fredonia here. No, I count no. 11. You know, though they had someone just oh, run running up. off. Got it. Green was trying to get off the oh, last Green second. Was, I, I thought he was But I don't think back. it was Green okay. was the wrong guy. He just recognized he had 12 and was trying to be, you know, a senior heads yep. up player. I think we had too many linemen out there, it looks like. Not that you have, like, so many. You can have all 11 guys on the line of scrimmage on defense. But they had an, an extra lineman just came off. So that gives him a little room to punt it the does. ball. It does. They're still, still look at, out of still their own end Still how tight he is, though. He seems to be way up. Decent kick. Levins feels it at, at the Marauder. Oh, big block by Green. Big block by Sheward. And tackled out of bounds by Cleckley. Oh, late flag pushing match here. You know, it, that was, that yeah, was just Stewart an awful play by Green. Earl Stewart. Yeah. I was watching the two of them were chipping away at each other a little. 
The ref walked right up okay. to kind of, you know, make sure, hey, boys, let's just go back to your own sides. And he took a little shot. And how does helmet come off? It, it's not on the replay, so I couldn't see it because the camera followed the ball. I don't know how Stewart's helmet ended up there. And, you know, and Earl Stewart's a, had an excellent year so far. We've given him a lot of credit. He won WDOE player of the game. Yeah. Um, great young man. Just let his emotions get the best of him there a little bit. And that's too bad. You know, both these teams are outstanding. And so are we going to take that from where the net? That'll be the end of the play. Yeah. Because that's a uh, that was about a 12, 13 yard return. It, it, if it's a 15 yarder, it'll be so it'll put them back at, up at the like 15 yard line if that's the case. Yep. Yep. So what oh boy, that's a huge. Now, penalty. the official pointed both arms away from him on yeah, that Yeah, I've never one. seen uh, There's two something. on. Yeah. I mean, we know what it was because we saw what happened. But I'm not familiar with that signal either. Yeah. So that's a that's a big mistake. 7.57 remaining, 28-6. to Ferroni has the ball on the Marauder 15-yard line. Now Skinner's in back in the out backfield here. Power eye. Schwartz under center. Hand off to Cologne. Nothing there. I mean, he fell forward for four or five yards. I shouldn't say nothing I was just there. Say, I, I, yeah. yeah, and I'd be surprised yeah. if we don't see three of those or four of those. And uh, uh, you know, you might have a Skinner run here too, big back. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a gain of about three according to the down marker. And it keeps the clock running. Yeah, seven thirty-four and running, twenty-eight to six, Fredonia. And I and I I did not I did not picture this I did not I thought no I we thought were, it was a much closer game yeah you know, oh looks like a flag probably on Fredonia here whistle flag prior to the snap uh, let's see what it is you know and I and I feel bad we've watched uh, Dunkirk Offside. play all yep. year and they're an outstanding football team and outstanding athletes and they just you know it didn't happen for them today hopefully maybe we'll end up. Both teams in the never know. You can yeah. see this game again. Yeah, you know how awesome would it be if they both ended up playing each other again at the Ralph? That yep. would be. I mean, that would be very. We, we were talking about build up for this game <laughs> all yeah, year yeah. long, but you got some outstanding teams that they're both going to have to make it through in B one and B two. You got Cheek um uh, Was it Albion? There's a yeah, few. Cheek Dwaga and Maryville are, Mary aren't even at the top. Pioneers at the top of that Pine division. Okay. Cheek Dwaga and Maryville are five and one. Pioneers six and zero. Oh. Uh, Albion 6-0. So, okay. yeah, those look like the uh, the Power, other yeah. four teams that will make it. I think both teams are going to make the playoffs. Oh, they're both in the playoffs. It just depends without, on, yeah. Yeah. Who's yeah, Cologne get home to field? the left side. Stay great in bounds, Cologne. Yep, yep, smart play. And that's a great job by the Marauder defense there. They strung that out very nicely. Cologne kept waiting for a block, waiting for a hole, and he couldn't find one. And it's a... Nice job. Clock still running. A great call by Greg here. It's a heads up play. A lot of backs might have just found them right, way out ran, of bounds ran there. It right out of bounds. He stopped and yeah. took that. It took the hit and kept the clock rolling. We got some late subs. Uh, people coming off. We're going to a spread and shotgun formation. So Ferroni's not. Not afraid here on, on what might be down in time and all that. Plays. Oh, he's got, oh, he's him. got he's a got guy him. wide open. And Schwartz Knight just got better with yep. another touchdown pass. It looks like, is that Nicosia? I think Nicosia on Number senior seven. night. Um, and yeah, that's Owen Nicosia. Perfect ball. Back corner of the end zone. Fredonia touchdown. Is that his fourth touchdown today? Schwartz or third? Third touchdown third pass. Passing. But again, he's five for five with wow. three touchdowns and about 200 yards. I got to do some math. Yeah, he's got to be close to 200. 554 remaining. Makes the score 34 to six. Ferdoni over Dunkirk. And that might have been the nail in the coffin. Oh, it's got to be. I mean, it's, you know, you're not coming yeah. back. 554. A lot of things that have to happen with that time, with time left. Um, uh, on to kick the extra point is Poocher. Oh, and the low line drive still makes it in. This is Ferronia's night. Uh, everything's just kind of gone their way, and, and that'll happen. The score does not reflect the, the two teams really doesn't. At, at all. I, I can't emphasize that enough. 
we, we were talking about, we really had no idea who was going to win this game. And if you played this game over a few times, it would not be the same score, I, I don't think, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I, uh, like I said, we came in thinking it was, you know, like I said, two very evenly matched teams. Well, and we talked about big plays, and yeah. Fredonia has made the plays. I think it's a little ironic that we, you know, me, I thought that the passing game favored Dunkirk, and that was going to be one of the things that may have given them an edge. Instead, I don't. I don't think they have. A, I got to go back real quick. Oh, they have the completed screen pass. That's it. Besides that might have been the screen pass is the only completion yards. they have. Yeah. And uh, on the other side, we're five for five with the, the, again. Wow, two hundred. Boy, oh boy, yeah. what, how many? What what kind of passing passer rating can that right. be? And, and like we also said at the beginning, Cleckley and Cologne has their yards, and big runs, and all of that. And the defense also did a good job with them, but. The passing game, another player or two. You had Schwartz and Skinner especially, but Levins had a huge catch and run, and now Nick Asia, um Those are that those other players, those other big plays that we said would be the key of the game, and, and that's... Five for five for 189 yards passing. Yeah, unofficially, and, but yeah. You know, that's, pretty darn close. I yeah, mean, I, I think you're know, pretty, I mean, you do I, a good job, yeah. yeah I, Low line drive kick, bouncing once again. Scooped up at about the 10. Oh, nice block. He's got a little bit of room here. That's Odobrowski. A nice return from the 10 up to, looks like spotted just shy of the 40. So almost a 30-yard return for Odobrowski there. Both, both teams have executed much better than we've seen on special teams. Both teams have had good punting. Yeah, both teams have had kickoffs that have gone, you know, significantly better. You know, we were watching yeah. squibs half the yeah, year. Yeah, right, right. And, you know, and then the return game has gone all, you know, I mean, it's it has been a, uh, a, a, a very well-played special teams game. Absolutely, so no surprise here. Shotgun formation, uh, twins to each side. Yeah, Moreland back to protect another. That's a good. Oh, oh boy, my! Another God. drop. And, and that's a, another very nicely thrown ball by the sophomore. Yeah. And his veteran receivers have kind of let him down here a little bit. I get it. Cluckley's trying to make a big play. Tried to run before Catch he it caught first. it. But yeah, I mean, that's not the first drop tonight. You, you've seen in two. Well, you had Leeper, you had Thomas, and now Cluckley have all caught, drop passes that. We've seen them catch all year right. in much harder because they're outstanding receivers. Once again, we've seen. Oh, he's got pressure. Oh, nice block by yeah. Moreland. Balls up in the air, intercepted by number 21, Dom Gullo. Dom Gullo with interception. Oh, we have an injured player on the field. There was a big collision and a block. Downfield, let's see who that is. You don't want to see an injury at this point of the game from either side. It looks like maybe, is that Pearl maybe? He's holding his ankle. Oh darn, I didn't look at the replay quick enough to see what happened, I missed it. I was looking at the player trying to figure out what he was holding and who it was. A heads up play by Dom Gullo, a sophomore cornerback making the big interception here with 5.30 left. Um, and again, it's harder to pass. Oh, look at the, we got the nice job by Chip and, and you can see the, the students lining in the end zone under the scoreboard there. It looks a lot like it did when that overtime game that we were talking about. Oh my about. gosh, yes, yeah, that, was that was incredible. Epic. I was here, unfortunately I wasn't in the booth, I was staying in the other end zone, and I could not believe that was one of the coolest things I've seen at a high school game, and there is- And he's up. Yep, you know, limping off, but it's still, he's getting off on his own power, it's a good sign. So Ferroni will take over possession, looks like we might have uh, Levins coming in at quarterback. So as we, you know, boy, 5.30 left, 35 to six, it's a, it's a uh, it looks like now it's just playing for, for pride to finish the season and get ready for the playoffs. I mean, 
you know, you you take this thing, you, you shake it off. Last year they, uh, you know, Fredonia had the big upset, and Dunkirk still went on and had, you know, some playoff success. Uh, right, Fredonia didn't even make the playoffs after that. Right. That was kind of their Super Season. Bowl last yeah, absolutely. year. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And it gave them momentum going into this year. Yeah, Dunkirk went on, won a playoff game last year, and then lost on the road, a tough playoff. Was it Cheektowaga, I believe, they lost to in the second yep. game last year? Very good Cheektowaga team. Uh, this year, Dunkirk will start in the road, but they've won on the road in playoffs before, and hopefully they can carry that over. We got uh, Kareem Levins in at quarterback. A lot of subs in there for Fredonia. Uh, let's see who driving. It looks like Dunker's got a, some subs in two. Uh, let's see who carried that ball. It was a nice run. That's number two. That's Russo. Giovanni Russo. Okay. Gio Russo carries for a game of nine. Well, gain of nine. Clock Eight. running about nine. five. We'll call yeah. Whatever we want. <laughs> When you don't get a lot of carries, he's, right. he's gaining nine. There you go. And so far, it looks like the rain is knock on wood. I mean, I'm going to say it, and it's going to well, start pouring or something. Yeah, but we're done the rain is holding off, but still, it's a good sign. Uh, once again, that's to Russo up the middle. It will be a Fredonia first down. Gio Russo down to the 34-yard line. That's good for Peronia. First down. Boy, I haven't checked my phone between stats and everything. I get a lot of... There we go. We got a lot of Frozens. Yep. It's Levens hands it off to Is that that's number 66 on the carry, is that, that is, that is Devin Wiedenhofer. There you go. And fullback getting the carry. Good for Devin, he's a senior. Um, he said everything, he was at, you know, he supports the younger kids, he's at the midget games, he was at the JV game last night. And good for Coach, uh, yeah. good for Coach Sherlock to, you know, I, I remember, I tell you, my whole opinion over uh, uh, McDermott for the Bills, Coach McDermott for the Bills switched when he gave that ball in to, uh, Kyle, to Williams, Kyle Williams. Is what you're I, say, I, yeah. I went from uh, not being sure to, to well, thinking the guy's fan. got it. Yeah, I'm a big fan now. Wiedenhofer is going to be talking about that carry. He'll for get years. it again. And, oh, they're giving it to the second back. Yeah, and speaking of, a little shout out to the Fredonia JV team was able to win against. Yeah, big the, win yesterday. Uh, yeah. It was yeah. Return kickoff and a return punt. I heard. Uh, yeah, so great special teams play, and it was a tight, you know. Tight game at first. It was 6 6 with a minute left in the first half. Fredonia's able to score at the end of the half, making 14 6 and scored another 20 unanswered in the second half. So um, that was their best offensive performance of the, the season. Jake Helmer had a couple touchdowns. Uh, Grayson, uh, um, I, I always screw up his last name. I'm gonna, he's going to kill me now. Uh, it's 20. Uh, let's see. Grizzin Grizinovich. Had a couple touchdowns. Mark, Matt Lauder, nice game. So Gullo, the sophomore, is going to get tackled for a loss here. Take it easy. That's a really late whistle, too. Right. He just got pushed back eight yards, was out of bounds two or three yards, and then the whistle blows. Why? Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that play is over 10 yards before that whistle. Someone's going to get hurt. Someone's going to do something dumb because emotions get high. Blow the whistle. I mean, he was pushed out of bounds at the 45. They're marking the ball at the 35. <laughs> and that's when the whistle blew. Come on, guys. Take care of these players. Boy, we got a bunch of candidates, or at least, you know, and that brings three on the top team. candidates yeah. for uh, for uh, what I guess what I would consider uh, player of the game for Fredonia. We've got, you know, Schwartz, who, who 
you can't have a better game, no. right? As a quarterback, no. five for five, 189 yards, three to four touchdowns, right? I, in my opinion. Just crazy. Because you also have Skinner had a big game, yeah, both yeah. receiving and on, on defense, defense and, and, yeah. and holding Dunkirk down. And then you've got uh, Cologne. Cologne. Let's not forget about him. Yeah. He had 19 carries for 194 yards. Well, see, he didn't so get to 200, monster game. so it can't not, be no. him. I just can't. Yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Seriously, all three of those guys, and obviously more than deserving of that. I think, I think in my opinion, I'd give it to Trey. Came up with some big passes. He plays defense. I he, think so, he yeah. He punts. He kicks. Um, yep. and, and we knew, we, again, Cleckley and, and Cologne was going to get their – their yardage and their big plays, who else was going to step up? And that was Trey Schwartz and Jake Skinner, too. But Schwartz threw in the ball. Everyone likes a quarterback over a receiver any day. I mean, receivers win MVP awards. So I would vote Schwartz, but Skinner would be right there, and obviously Cologne would be, too. You know, Cleckley didn't have a terrible day. No. I mean, a, a, a great he had day. 100 yards in the first half, didn't and, he? And then he had 68 on the first drive and only carried the ball because of the way the game yeah. is. Only carried the ball twice. Swing pass to the right. Breaks one tackle. Nice block. Got the edge. He's going to get tackled inbounds, too. Oh, yeah. Alfred Onya cares about his yeah. knees inbounds. Yeah, yeah. But he had a, but Cleckley had a, uh, a 27 for a 181. Yeah. So he continued his, his Absolutely. move. Absolutely. You know, it's interesting. Coming into the game, there's got to be a little personal going on. Cologne and Cleckley, let's see. If Cologne gained 13 more yards, I don't think that puts him past him for the season. Oh, they were no. that close. Wow. I mean, they were that close yeah. coming in. And hopefully Cologne will be willing to trade that for the win oh, tonight. I'm sure he yeah. would. I'm sure he would. Messina drops back, hits yeah. his receiver. Messina nice finally catch getting a little time. something going. But. And, and that's Thomas. It's just, and again, I, I think Messina's thrown the ball pretty well to, today. His receivers, just who have helped him all year long, didn't today. Yeah, I think he threw, you know. He threw some really nice balls. And a, and a couple times he was under pressure, which yeah, usually doesn't absolutely. happen to him as well. Twins to each side. Moreland next to Messina. Shotgun formation. Drops back. Under pressure He's again. Going down. And that yep. he is sacked. Let's see. Who is that? That is number eight. Is that eight? Anthony yep. Gullo. Anthony yep. Gullo Anthony with the big a play sack. With a sack. Yeah. Nice job by Anthony Gullo in there. Getting the pressure on and getting by Moreland, which is no small feat. Second and long. Messina looking deep as Rocky Red. Oh, he dropped oh, another one. Through the hands. You know, that's a tough catch because you know that safety's coming over the, the top to hit you, uh, but that's an excellent throw <laughs> by Messina. And, it, you know, and that's kind of. Hit the, him in stride. Yeah. And I think that sums up, unfortunately, for Dunkirk yeah. their night. Um, they've been making that play and these plays all year, and it just didn't happen for them tonight. But the good news is. I mean, all this really, besides a lot of pride in division, you still can make a run in the playoffs. And, and that'll be remembered longer than tonight. Um, you know, if Dunkirk makes it farther than Fredonia in the playoffs. Yeah, I'm not you know, sure, man. I'll tell I you. I know. You know. I'm trying to be the, positive I'm here, with Greg. You. At the you know, yeah. 10 years from now when they're hanging yeah. out at Rookies or somewhere like that, you know, yeah. stopping into <laughs> Coglins. Somebody's going to say, hey, remember that game? Ralph, the Ralph makes a big, it's a big talk, too. Yeah. Jump ball falls incomplete. Tough play. That yeah, yeah, no, that good yeah, that, cover. Good cover. Absolutely, that's a coverage play there. Thomas did a nice effort to come up with it. Trying to see who was with Thomas. He had nice coverage over there. Um, I still have a hard time reading these Fredoni jerseys as much as I like them. Yeah, I can't. Uh, whoever's playing left corner had a nice job there. I'd love to give him some credit. 14 seconds left in tonight's game and really for the B3 championship. And let's give Coach Sherlock a little credit. This oh will be gosh, his first job. Great game. Uh, varsity, that's good coverage there once again. Um, on the, Who is that? Greg, come on, you got glasses well, on. Well, I know that out. Russo was coming on the backside. Yeah, 10. Number 10. So uh, uh, no, that's no, that can't 10. be Levens. Yeah. That's not 16, maybe 18. We're gonna get it. 13. 
Uh, Parker Rivera, that's who it is. That's Parker. Parker Rivera, 13 so, coming over. Right. Two good coverages yeah, in a row. I also, I'll tell you, Gio Russo could have lit him up coming in the back, and he chose to just kind of slide off to the back, which at this point in the game, you know, good sportsmanship, good play. Because, uh, yeah, I saw him coming over, and I, you know, the Dunkirk receiver was stretched out, and I'm, I was, oh, boy, that could have been an, uh, a, a pop. But uh, to his then, credit, he, he, you know, just slid off and... And if we can, if we can get a camera down on the sidelines here, you can see the emotions. And Coach Sherlock, I, I've never seen Gail this many hugs on the sidelines. This is a big win for him. Father-son hug going on right now as he take the final knee, kneel down. Um, as a head coach, this is his first championship. Um, been part of state championships and With so other teams, on. But, but yep. it's, it's a little bit more when you're a head coach for sure. Um, and congratulations to the Fredonia Brockton Hillbillies Boy, uh, for the B3 championship. dominating game and really puts them into a spot. You know, it's, and by the way, we've seen Dunkirk ahead of, of Fredonia all year in the rankings. I mean, you know, because Dunkirk had the, 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 the reputation, the credibility, and, and was ahead of them the whole way. And then all of us, you know, after this game, you're going to certainly see Fredonia vault up. You know, this was a... a, 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 a Beat down against a good, good team. Very good team. Absolutely. So they're gonna, you know, they're gonna vault up in the standings and and maybe maybe they'll get some notice out of the uh, yeah the, the the Buffalo schools. Absolutely. I mean, Dunkirk was up to what four or five, I believe, in the small school rankings. Yep. You know, and they'll probably flip flop with Fredonia. I doubt they drop out of the top ten. I hope they don't because they don't deserve to. Um, and again, we didn't see their best performance. This is an excellent football team, the Marauders. And uh, hopefully they can go on the road next week and, and, and get the momentum back and pull off a, a win and uh, make a run themselves. Uh, we'll be rooting for both teams, no doubt about it, going forward. Watching the two teams uh, go through the line. There's a lot uh, of love and respect there yeah, for each yeah. other. You, you know, know, players know each other so much better today than they did in, in, in the old days. They, yeah. they, you know, a lot of midget league play together and time spent. Uh oh, but, here uh, comes the here students go, running yeah. on the field. But yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I, I jokingly put on Facebook a picture of me and Holit the, G the Jesus in his Dunker gear, and I was in my Fredonia gear, and it's like, if you can do it, we can. If we yeah, can do it, you go. can do it. The Rocky quotes, but yeah, it's a great towns, both towns. I, I think most people really root for each other, but it's fun to play against each other too. Um, and it's a nice scene with the, the students out there and the confetti and so on as well. So uh, from the Orange Bowl, we had a, we had a you know, a, a, it wasn't the greatest football game ever, but it was certainly a great effort and, and a big game and a huge Fredonia win. Uh, you know, really showed that they were the class of B3 and, uh, and, and get themselves, I'm sure, at least a home game in the playoffs, and we'll see yeah. where that all goes. Uh, so for... Uh, uh, Chip Rewald and Cody Becker working the uh, working the camera. Shannon and myself, uh, Greg Krause here behind the, you know, in the booth. We want to say thanks for watching. Uh, we'll replay this thing if you had some trouble with the YouTube feed, and have a wonderful night.